page why it's mentioning daily board serial number 1 to 4 5 to 12 13 to 21 serial number 16 your lordship mm. here with consent i'm requesting for some time i think it is this is being adjourned for a long time it is uh, on, on a last third adjournment on a last occasion it was adjourned other i am request only for short date or for what i'm sorry. this has not been argued since the date of filing it seems so no it, it was argued it was argued in the other coordinate bench so let us have this we'll see why are you taking a journey we will grant your journey please not at this moment please next 22 to 28 Hmm. Okay. This is a matter where advocate notice was served. Yes. You are appearing for the respondent. Okay. 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 Twenty nine to thirty five. Thirty. Three zero thirty. Three zero. Yes. There is a leave note. Yes, that's why. What do you want? Any Okay. Any date? Serial number thirty two. Serial number thirty two. Hmm. Request for priority. Okay. Serial number thirty one. Requesting for priority. Okay. Thirty six to thirty eight. Thirty nine to forty one. Forty two to forty four. 45 and 46, 47, 48 to 51. With consent request. 50? 50, 50, 0. With consent requesting for some time. This, you are repeatedly getting it adjourned. Correct or not? This is the third request or second request? Second request. Second, second request. What is the difficulty? Let it be on the list. We may not be able to reach there. Please. Okay. 52 to 56, 57 and 58, 59 and 60, 61 to 64, 62. There is a leave note of one of the advocates. Can it be adjourned for a short period? This is 2015 matters. Yes. Nikhil, the matter is quite told. There is a leave note of one of the learn advocates appearing for response number three. What up? Date. Except 30th minute. There is some difficulty on 30th. First of me. Okay. Can I request on that? Can I request on that day that it can be taken up? Yes, because yes. That is always open. The is uh, challenged of our game. That is always open Please. for you. Yeah. 65 to 69, 72, 73. 70. 70. Yes. You are appearing for? I am for Mr. for Mr. Now. So you are sending leave note and then asking for fixing a short date. Why? Right? Both cannot go together. Matter is listed today. If you want, if you have sent the leave note, then it will be given a date. Okay. 74 to 81, 82 to 85, 86, 87 and 88, page number 29. Eight, 89 and 90. This 86 will not be adjoining up. It will be taken up. Inform the council. 91 to 96. 97 to 99. Cinnamon 99. May I request a priority? Okay. 100 and 101, 102 to 7, 108 to 10, 111 to 
फोर्टीन इज वन मैटर एट फोर्टीन पार्ट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन नॉन दिस मोमेंट ओके द सेम ऑर्डर टूल्स यस so that is a 227 matter so that you must have order 1 rule 10 filed by order 1 rule 10 was filed by by you in which matter matter the society has prepared an application uh, a special civil application before the honorable high court matter challenging the uh, the stand pass and even by the corporation in favor of one member or which matter as per our case or that is to be used for the hospital in the property of the society it is not permitted उसिंग Has joined hands with the respondents. How? Result and fee. Result and fee. How? How? Yes, ma'am. The matter is still pending with the learned single judge. The both the parties are there with the learned single judge. Learned single judge will decide the matter. But one of five. You are only some of the members of the cooperative society. But if one of you can challenge that order one rule ten matter by seeking leave once the red petition is decided finally. But there is no urgency. Okay, okay okay let it come we are not we are not giving uh, accepting the request for urgent circulation it will let it come we'll see there is no urgency in such the case followed as only urgency is that part of the main matter is to come upon any more let the main matter be decided then you can file lpa with the leave to appeal against the main order if it goes against you so that is the assumption or that if the matter is withdrawn so that that petition is withdrawn then not i will not be able to if petition is withdrawn then you can bring your own cause of action that will not prohibit you from being bringing your own cause of action why would i we say this as of now let it come in a routine manner and otherwise also if there is no office objection it will come on the fourth day of filing so now it will come up in a day or two if there is no office objection it will come up लिखेगा इन स्पाइट ऑफ टू वीक्स टाइम ग्रांटेड टू द लर्न काउंसिल फॉर द पिटिशन द सेकेंड सेट ऑफ रिट पिटिशन हैज नॉट बीन प्रोवाइडेड टिल डेट फर्स्ट ऑफ एज ए लास्ट ऑपरचुनिटी वन वीक फर्दर टाइम इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द इज नॉट सप्लाइड कर दीजिए नॉट प्रोवाइडेड one week time is provided to the learned counsel for the petitioner to supply the second set list this matter on date then at 24 hmm so we then dismiss kar den aane ka request kar rahe hain
नंबर वन मिस्टर आर एम परमार एस फाइल सिक्नो लिखेगा देर आर रिपीटेड सिक नोट ऑफ द लर्न एडवोकेट अपेयरिंग फॉर द अपलेंट कॉमा आफ्टर द मैटर वॉज एट जॉन ऑन फोर फोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर कॉमा ऑन द रिक्वेस्ट मेड बाय लर्न काउंसिल फॉर द अपलेंट टू इनेबल हिम टू प्रिपेयर द मैटर टू आर्ग्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ पैरा चेंज पर लेट द मैटर बी पोस्टेड और नेक्स्ट वीक कर दीजिए फर्स्ट ऑफ कर इट इज मेड क्लियर दैट नो फर्दर सिक लोट नोट और लीव नोट वुड बी ऑनर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड In fact, the same proceedings, but here the the original petitioner was the bank. In this decided case, it was the auction purchaser. That is the only difference. Otherwise, facts are also same. Same order. Discussed. dismissed yeah hmm hmm ek baar mujhe bhi laga ki shayad wahi dobara aa gaya but then i realized ki maine correction kar ke to 26 e aaya tha okay next After after the same thing. without jurisdiction yes color short
Serial number three, uh, Mr. Nabil hmm. Obloj. Please. Please, sir, delay for bringing legal health lawsuit. Which, who's legal health? Lawsuit, it is, it is the case that, uh, or mm -hmm. the, it is the case, or is the response number six where the party, whereby the uh, original uh, response number six, six was where the party in the in the SCA lordship whereby he, he is the uh, being the petition is preferred by the uh, power of federal lordship then no. after then after some original just the you are seeking to bring on record heirs of whom oh, response number six sir response number six before the learned single judge no before no. in the lpa sir no no response number six LPA is pending or LPA is a fresh matter? LPA is fresh matter. In LPA, okay. department has raised the objection. No. So, so, response number six in the original red petition it, or special civil application is Haji Jaku Noor Muhammad Kakar. Ha, He's not alive. He's not alive. The petition uh, was before, uh, the response has joined by the power of attorney. Hmm? The response yes, was, I, I will. So don't, I will, don't confuse anything. Sir, we are will, asking you whether response number six, who was a response number six in the repetition is alive or not? He was not alive. He was joined uh, uh, as the power of attorney. Uh, that's why. Uh, uh, then how, after, can, how can he, this, sir, that, that is how the point. can he be joined as yes. power of attorney? Yes, that is. He has been, uh, he has been represented Jesus. in the repetition through his power of attorney. Right. What is the date of death of response number six? That is, sir, uh, 19 uh, June 2018. 19th June 2018. June 2018. You are for the petitioner. During the pendency of this. Just a minute. Yes, sir. You are for the petitioner. I am the one of the. We are the one of the heads. Mr. Counsel, who is the applicant before us? Uh, appellants, uh, appellants are before us. Is the, uh, some of the respondents which were not joined to the single judge. So then we cannot permit them to join. Because uh, the we cannot permit everyone to join here who has not joined before the learned single judge. No, all, all no, the... Just a minute. What is the date of filing of this red petition? It was before long back, sir. All have preferred the uh, LPL, sir. But, uh, because title was not met, that's why the department raised the... Mr. Uh, Mr. Council. You are not answering the questions which we are asking you. What is the date of filing of the special civil application? In November, sir, in my petition, November 23, sir. Special civil application. Special civil application, it is before long back, sir. It was disposed. What is the filing date? Sir, I, I, we are the respondent. The filing Mr. by the... Mr. Mr. Counsel. Okay. You were the respondent number six was represented before by, the by, by power of attorney before single judge. Mr. Sir. Counsel, please let me complete the question. Yes, sir. Respondent number six was represented through a counsel or not? Yes. Advocate was appearing. Yes, sir. For respondent number six. Yes, sir. Why these heirs of respondent number six were not brought on record before the land single judge? So for that, kindly see the when he died during the pendency of the. Ji, sir. And this is the uh, impugned order per statement, sir. It will clear your lordship. Have you me. brought to the notice of the learned single judge that the respondent number six is not alive? Yes. Then after the, uh, the other heads is other heads are came to be joined as a party. Okay. Other so than then 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 matter, matter ends. No, no, then other who have not joined as party, we are not permitting them to join here. Sorry. We because are not adding to the uh, numbers. Because they no, sir, we are not permitting anyone to join. Who has joined before the learned single judge? Sir, that is on uh, reflected in order. It's uh, in input order itself, sir. On uh, and who is this respondent number six? Is the original owner of the landlordship. Original and, owner. Uh, uh, heirs, now, heirs, heirs are the uh, is uh, lordship is legal heirs. Who has executed the sale deed? Uh, the, uh, sale deed were executed by your uh, power, sir. It is reflected in order. Mr. Counsel, the sale deed is executed by respondent number three to his uh, six to his through his power of attorney. Yes, sir. You are the person 
who are uh, legal heirs sir. legal heirs of the original owner you have filed these objections after 20 years ji sir of the execution of the sale deed right ji so we are that is why we are asking the, that what is the correct date of death of the original owner that is i have sir original owner was jaku nur mohammad ji sir his death he was the uh, in in my cl or sip i have added the death certificate please okay argue we are rejecting this application come to the merits of the case who is the appellant before us the appellants are all lots so including as well these appellants uh, as well as the appellants are Here is the case before your lordship that this uh, in C. Who are the appellants before us? There are lordship uh, in uh, just uh, uh, form appellants one point one to two point C two to two point two point C. Who are they? They are the legal heirs of the original. Okay. Uh, Response number six. Yes, sir. Now, what is the case of the appellants? It is sir. They in... cannot seek for joining if they were not party before the land sale judge. All Who are appellants before your lordship. All the heirs are appellant uh, before the learned single judge. Some of, the, some of the some of them were represented. So others will be in representative capacity. Kindly see page number two, jail or see uh, in main. Do you case, understand? Sir. If some of the heirs were represented before the learned single judge, then others are in representative capacity. You cannot seek their impediment here before the in the uh, LPA. Now the LPA is originally filed by whom? All all heirs, all heirs, Lord Sir. Here the case. Brought on record. That is why this CL, Lord Sir. The the uh, sir. Mr. Counsel, out of these appellants who were there before the substituted before the learned single judge uh, after that, death of respondent number six. That is on page number P, Lord Sir, of impugn order, Sir. Kindly see. From six point one to entire. So they are already on record. Six point one to they they will represent the fate of others. Yes, sir. But six point one to six point ten point four. Ten point four. But these okay, these they are right. they are not on record. They are they are appellants before us or not? They are not appellants, sir. They are appellants in this petition. They are appellants. But in that petition, they were not joined as the party as the response number six. We, which are the applicants in this C L O C? Sir, are C L M G? I'm saying, Mr. Counsel, please sir. come to page P. Yes, sir. This shows that heirs of response number six were impeded, were substituted before the learned single judge as a respondent six point one to six point ten point four. Correct. From P to T. G yes, sir. But they were impeded. They are the appellants before us. G yes, sir. You you argue on their behalf. Rest I, are not to be impeded here. For I have instructed for all those. In my C A, the other is other other applicants. We were who are not party to this. Uh, not necessary. Hearing. They are not no. necessary party. I yes, heirs of respond number six are represented. Yes, sir. That's why the uh, title. Now for... can you argue? On the merits of the case, LPA. Yes, sir. I will argue kindly. Allow my CA for bringing legal heirs. We are, so I can argue for the we are not allowing your CA for taking others as legal heirs of response number six. We are clear about it. Now, will you argue the uh, LPA? I will argue. Lord, kindly give it two day after tomorrow. No, sorry. Right or now. Or two thirty, sir. Right now. Right now, I will argue, sir. Kindly see the my contention before the learned single judges and page page number. Paragraph seven, Lord Sir. Paragraph seven, page two, J. Lord Sir. Yes. May I read, Sir? Entire paragraph seven. Did we? That was the condition. Paragraph seven. Yes, Sir. Page two, J. Page two, J, Sir. Of the impugn order. Yes, read. 
then you can so and so appearing for the heads of the response number six has also contended that the criminal complaint is filed at uh, 2018 against the earlier power of attorney by the by way of the heads the present response number six before the city b division you cannot term. file criminal complaint against the power of attorney yes, sir. because power of attorney was power of attorney of original response number six only response number six could have said anything against the power of attorney which he gave to that person right during his lifetime, he did not say anything. Now, you cannot uh, say that the power of attorney was bad. The power of attorney was of response number six, not yours. Got it? it? My grandfather, sir. The appellant's father. So you have sir. nothing to do with the power of attorney. Kindly see entire para, sir. Then I will not argue single word, sir. What is my case before your lordship, sir? You know, the, which I rely, this is on page number next, sir. Kindly tune this, sir, in page two care. I will read, sir, only relevant, Please. relevant paragraph, not entire page two care. Next page, sir. The person who has given the authority is on an active visa. The power of it is to be revocable if the principal has a right to revoke the power at, at any point of time. In, in this case, the power of it is not valid after the date of the principal, and therefore the power what of... What is the date of execution of the sale deed? That will... Did I... And principal had died in the year 2018. Sale deed is of 94-95. How is it relevant that part of attorney is revocable uh, or not? Your lordship, the LP's main ground is that the settlement they have not fulfilled. Uh, settlement where uh, arrived between the parties. That was not kind fulfilled. Of settlement? That's that I uh, pointed out in my grounds in LPS. Sir. This is a wholly misconceived appeal. Filed by heirs of response number six, comma, who had joined as response number six point one to six point ten point four before the red code. The challenge to the the challenge before the red code was to the order. Dated 4 1 2018. Passed by response number 3. Namely, the appellate committee of the district panchayat, comma, in the meeting of the committee dated 4 1 2018. Comma, which was communicated to the petitioner by communication dated 12-1-2018. First of, further challenge was to the order dated 8-3-2018, passed by the Deputy District Development Officer, comma, Jamnagar, comma, whereby the mutation entries of the name of the petitioner dated 1895 and 1904-1997 were sought to be cancelled. First of the claim of the petitioner before the learned single judge was that they are in peaceful position and occupation of the subject land since the year 1994-95. When the sale after, after the sale of the land in question, wide registered sale deed executed by the original owner for non-agricultural use, comma, with the permission of the competent authority, comma, which was granted by daughter dated 17-10-1994. First stop. it was stated that the original owner, namely, 
response number six along with the other family members. Six namely kar de chaga. Haji, Jaku, Noor, Muhammad, Kakul. Along with other family members had executed a power of attorney in favor of Vrinda Nand Shankar Dave to deal with the subject land. Achha. Along with other family members. For the purpose of dealing with the subject land. First off, the sale deeds of nine plots were executed. The registered sale deeds of nine plots were executed. Sale deeds of nine plots were executed. An entry came to be mutated in village form number two. Wide entry number 197.1 to tier 2 197 slash 2 dated 18 4 1995 and 19 4 1997 semicolon respectively, in the name of the petition. First off, the petitioners herein, the original petitioners had constructed and established uh, an industry on the subject land and were running the same throughout. First up in the year 2007, comma, some of the heirs of original land owner, namely, response number six here, in, Response number six before the red court filed a regular civil suit if any document. Correct. Date of death taken. Filed regular civil suit number 482 of 2007 seeking partition of their share. Partition of her, the partition of the land in question and declaration of her share therein. First off, the petitioner was not joined in the suit, suit proceedings, comma, however, comma, white judgment and order dated 31 12 2012, comma, the said suit had been dismissed. First off, it is noted by the learned single judge that from the judgment, of the said suit, of the aforesaid suit, comma, it transpires that at the relevant point of time, comma, there was admission made by response number six slash original owner in the suit that the subject land was already sold to the petitioner by registered sale deeds. First off. It seems that the petitioner herein, the original petitioner, the original petitioner had also filed a civil suit, namely regular civil suit number 310 of 2008, which was subsequently withdrawn. First off, the facts reflected on the record indicates that after about 19 years, comma, On 1 2 2016, uh, an application was filed by response number six, namely the original owner through his new power of attorney, comma, seeking for cancellation of entry, mutated in village form number two, comma, recorded in favor of the petition. Number six it means it's not the original owner. Original owner was someone else. 
तो ओरिजिनल ओनर ने ये बार पटोने के थ्रू फाइल किया था एप्लीकेशन या किसने करा था बट वेदर ओरिजिनल ओनर फाइल एप्लीकेशन सीकिंग फॉर कैंसिलेशन ऑफ एंट्री और डेल्स दैट इज अ कंफ्यूजन ठीक है वी मे फर्दर रिकॉर्ड दैट the gram panchayat wide resolution dated 6/1/2017 had observed that entry mutated in the name of the petitioner is on the basis of the registered sale deed and further neither the sale deeds had been challenged before competent court nor had been cancelled nor cancelled and hence the mutation entries made in favor of the petitioners cannot be cancelled full stop full stop sara change kare full stop it seems that on an appeal filed before the appellate committee comma the रेजोल्यूशन पास बाय द ग्राम पंचायत क्यों अपील किसकी करेंगे एपिलेट कमेटी कॉमा ग्राम पंचायत को कोई एडजुडिकेटरी पावर ही नहीं है Comma. The matter was examined and the entries were cancelled. The learned single judge records that by notification dated fourteen two two thousand six, comma, village Dhinacha, comma. Entire, the entire village, the Hinsta, Hinsta, and some of the plots included, and this, and some of the plots were included in the existing limits of city of Jamnagar. Post of the appellate committee of the Gram Panchayat therefore lost power to examine the correctness of the entries. First stop. Moreover, the sale deed executed in the year nineteen ninety five to na sale deeds carried executed in the year nineteen ninety five to nineteen ninety seven were the basis of the entries made in the revenue records in favor of the petitioners, and the said entries could not have been cancelled on any application filed by. The heir of the original owner. First of all, I changed it. Challenging these findings, returned by the learned single judge, comma, learned counsel for the appellants has invited attention of the court to the averments made in paragraph seven of averments recorded in paragraph seven of the judgment impugned. wherein it was noted wherein the contention of the petitioner original petitioners ne contention of the respondent kare respondent number 6 was noted contentions of heirs of respondent number 6 were noted by the learned single judge first of it was sought to be submitted by the appellants before the learned single judge that the petitioner was a land grabber and respondent number 6 had filed application before the collector 
अंडर द लैंड ग्राविंग एक्ट कुछ भी लिखा है सो नंबर 6 2018 में डेथ हो गई क्या लिखा है एंड एन एप्लीकेशन करेंगे एंड एन एप्लीकेशन अंडर द लैंड ग्राविंग एक्ट हैज बीन फाइल अगेंस्ट द पिटिशनर consideration first off on the merits of the claim of the petitioner about the entry based on the sealed deed comma it was argued that the power of attorney was revocable and after death of the principal pa pl principal comma the power of attorney loses its significance first off the petitioner cannot be permitted to take benefit of such situation after death of respondent number 6 first stop para change kar taking note of the above contentions comma on a query made by the court comma learn counsel for the appellants would submit that the respondent number 6 had died on 196 first stop the copy of the death certificate is also appended as an exhibit also nikle appended as an exhibit 10 to the an exhibit a kare to the application seeking to bring on record the heirs and legal representatives of respondent 6 in the instant appeal comma records the date of death of respondent 6 as 196 first stop नाम पता चल जाए क्या लिखा पिटिशन red petition which record that there were which indicates that there were many co-owners of the subject land comma which were sold by the registered sale deeds okay. executed in the year 1994-95 only one of the co-owners namely jakur noor mohammad had comma kariwa who was impleted as respondent number 6 in the red petition had initiated proceedings in the year 
by moving an application seeking for cancellation of entry mutated in the revenue records based on the sale deeds. Most of the appellants herein are heirs and legal representatives of response number six, comma, who moved the application for cancellation of entry. First of however, on a query made by the court, comma, learn counsel for the appellants could not demonstrate before us that there is any order of a competent court for cancellation of the sale deed. Sale deeds which were executed by the owners of the plots in question in the year 1994-95 comma along with nee, huh? comma karega, one of them being response number six before the red code post of para change karega. in the set scenario comma we do not find any error in the order of the learned single judge in setting aside the decision of the appellate committee on two grounds, firstly, on the question of jurisdiction, and secondly, that the mutation entries based on the registered sale deeds could not have been cancelled after the period of 19-20 years, comma, at the instance of one of the executant of the sale deeds, comma, on the premise that the power of attorney was revoked prior to the execution of the city. Was revoked, full stop. Para change. For the aforesaid, comma, no merit is found in the instant. Uh, the, for the aforesaid, the, uh, L, L, the instant letters patent appeal is dismissed. Application may likhe ga. The instant application has been filed seeking to bring on record the heirs and legal representatives of response number six, comma, without giving any detail as to how the applicants could fall in the category of being heir and legal representative of responder, original response number six, impleted before the writ court, comma, whose heirs were brought on record as response number 6.1 to 6.10.4. First off, in one paragraph of the application, comma, only this much is stated that the deceased is survived by the above 29 all legal heirs, comma, which is not sufficient to allow the application the application seeking for joining parties by 29 applicants as heirs and legal representatives of original response number six through their power of attorney is therefore yes, dismissed as, therefore rejected as misconceived. It may further be noted that the application seeking to bring on record the heirs and legal representative of response number six is highly belated. And there is no explanation for the that both career that both the lpa as well as the civil application are highly related and there is no proper explanation for delay in filing the letters patent appeal as well as applications seeking to bring on record the heirs of original response number six. First of both the LPA and the civil applications are thus 
also liable to be dismissed on the ground of delay, on the ground of inordinate, unexplained delay. Yes. Good. Good First one we showed it, no? Then I just number six and other family members. Other family members would be there. Don't cut it. Okay. Family members, the other co-owners cut it. Next. Then we cannot cut it. No mistake. Okay. 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 Number four, Mr. Part B. How can you do? You are the purchaser of a mortgage property. I I was the owner. After that, it was purchased. It was purchased by somebody else. And then it was motivated by the, by, so then, by then once once you sold it, your rights are, you said I I am the owner. I am the owner. You somebody have purchased, purchased it. Seller, that seller, after selling it to me, sells it to somebody else. Okay. Now <laughs> your sale deed is what date? My your sale deed. deed is of what date? When yeah. have you purchased it? 17 10 2008. 17? 10 2008. You were not put in possession of the property. I am currently put. You currently know after since 2018. Then, then, then what happened? Seller, after that, what happened? Seller to, from whom I purchased. Right. Sells it to somebody else. Uh, what is At the date? What is the date of the sale deed? This is a story you are telling us, or it's a fact. It's a fact. Okay. I have put the sale deed on. Other party also. What is the date of the second sale date? See, you are making a wrong statement, Mr. Counsel. Please come to the date and events of the repetition. You yourself say that the seller did not inform you that the property was already mortgaged. So please read this. You first read this. Please read. This is what you have written. I have not written this. Dates and events in your red petition. No, no. 17-10-2018. Second paragraph. Second paragraph of the second point. So that means the mortgage is prior to the sale date. You are make, giving us a wrong picture in the during the course of argument. You are you have written something else. This is what you have written, Mr. Counsel. There are two more. We don't know two or three mortgages. We don't know two or three mortgages. We just want to be sure that you you purchased a mortgage property, right? Your contention before the writ court was that I am a bona fide purchaser. The seller suppressed the fact that there was a mortgage over the property, right? Correct. And then when arguing, you are giving us a different picture. That you said that mortgage is subsequent to the sale. There is another mortgage. That is not concerned. I'm second mortgage is not concerned of, uh, for us. Is related to second mortgage. We don't know. The second or third. You are giving a, you are not giving us the correct picture. You are making a wrong statement, and if the council is making a wrong statement, is out of the court. The petitioner career. This is the instant appeal. 
Sorry, Mr. Counsel. The instant appeal is directed against the. Sorry, Mr. Counsel. The instant appeal is directed against the judgment and order dated 26 to 2024, passed by the learned single judge. In dismissing the petition filed by the appellant here in seeking for setting aside of the notice dated 28-11-2023 issued under the Surface Act against Respondent Book 4 before the red code. First off, further challenge. Against me issued by Karim. Issued by Rasmunda. Hmm. The further prayer made in the red petition was to stay the proceedings under the Surface Act to, Korea, to set aside Korea, to set aside the proceedings under the Surface Act 2002. Initiated by notice dated 23-6-2022 under section 13 brackets 2 of the Surface Act. First off, in the original petition, as noted by the learned single judge, comma, the relief prayed originally in the red petition was to declare and hold that the classification of loan account of response number two and three by response number one as non-performing asset on 5-10-2020 is illegal, comma, void, and bad in law. First off, para change to Suffice it to note that the petitioner herein, that the original petition claimed to be purchaser of the property in question, namely flat number, 304 in Mangal Murti complex, comma, which was purchased by the petitioner from response number seven, namely Mr. Jitendra Bhanu Bhai Ramani, and response number eight, namely Miss, Mrs. Rekha Bing Jitendra Ramani. First off, as per the statement made in the red petition, comma, it is contended that the petitioner is bona fide purchaser of the property in question, of the flat in question, and response number two and three. namely Ashwin Markhana and Akshay Mansukh Bhai Vabhasya are the borrowers. First off, response number two had mortgaged the property in question with response number one and an order to take possession of the property of the petition has been passed by the sixth additional chief judicial magistrate, Surat. Section Under section 14 of the Surface Act 2002. First off, in another paragraph, in like there are career, there are contradictory statements in the repetition to the extent that respond number six and eight are borrowers of. Respond number five bank, namely Yuko Bank, and respond number seven and eight have mortgaged the entire plot with respond number five bank, comma, over which the property of the petitioner is situated. First off, Parajin Kari. It is thus sought to be submitted that. Two mortgage was, mortgages were created over the property in question with two different banks, namely 
the you uh, two different banks slash financial institutions two different financial institutions namely yuko bank and housing development finance corporation limited which are implicated as respond number one and five before the red code first off it is sought to be submitted by law and counsel for the petition that the petition is challenging only the second mortgage which was which was created by respond number seven and eight comma the executing of the sale deeds sale deed dated 17 10 2018 the seller's critic of the sale deed dated 17 10 2018 executed in favor of the petitioner here post up however the fact remains that as per own statement made in the red petition comma the property in question was mortgaged with the financial institution post up the contention of the petitioner that Petitioner was a bona fide purchaser of the subject property, comma, cannot be seen by us for the simple reason that surface proceedings have been initiated and are pending against the seller, namely, executant of the sale deed dated 17 10 2018, comma, which was executed in favor of the petitioner. Original petition slash appellant hearing. First of paragraphs okay, for the said fact, comma. We do not find any infirmity in the order of the learned single judge directing the petitioner to approach the debt recovery tribunal by filing an appropriate application. First of in any case, comma the prayers made in the red petition as noted here in above for quashing of the surface proceedings against respond number seven and eight cannot be entertained. Is correct, it cannot be entertained, Kanji. Is found misconceived for the aforesaid. Our are, are found misconceived prayers kare. For the aforesaid, comma, no interference is called for. The appeal is dismissed, being devoid of merits. Second order second motion is created by seven and eight. Okay. Seven and eight ki jaga two and three ka jaga. Second mortgage is by response number two and three. Wo hota hi hai ye mortgage property mein sorry ek proxy petition karne ka. Ki hamara hamara kaam. Sira number five, part in person, Miss Krishna Kedakta. But there is a same case for same cause, MS Kazi versus the Muslim Education Society. That uh, MS Kazi has had filed uh, SCA before single judge of High Court. That uh, that petition is dismissed. Then uh, uh, he has he had filed uh, LPA. LPA was also dismissed. Then Supreme Court has restored that petition uh, for further adjudication. I, the petitioner, hearing had filed the LPA 182-2024. In your but matter, in your matter, Supreme Court has restored? No. Mm -hmm. MS Kazi, ratio of law. Uh, MS Kazi versus Muslim yeah. Education Society. Ruby. Okay. What is this? This is my argument. What is your argument? Go to the Supreme Court. Like the the issue the issue with regard to please 
the issue with regard to the maintainability of LPA against an order passed under 227 is settled. Now, the 227 is supervisory jurisdiction of the High Court. LPA is not maintainable against an order passed in exercise of power under 227. That is settled law. Sir, there are a ratio of law that overruled this uh, judgment. Which ratio of law has been overruled? Sir, uh, I, Lordship, allow me, I may leave my argument. Hmm. This is against an order passed by the civil court. Family court is a civil court. Now the uh, apex court in the case of Radesham has decided that 226 is not maintainable. Only 227 is maintainable. Oh. Whatever you are relying upon was a different issue. There was an issue as to whether it would be 227 or 226. But the, here issue is not there. Here only issue is that the family court passed an order saying that it had no jurisdiction to decide the suit filed by you. Correct? Is this correct or not? That is what the uh, counselor has uh... Okay, Acha. You are against the decision of the family court in entertaining the suit, right? You are saying that family court has no jurisdiction. There are two courts uh, that has jurisdiction according to section 19 uh, of Hindu Marriage Act 1955, family court Gandhinagar and family court Ahmedabad. But uh, the learned principal judge has decided the jurisdiction of uh, uh, Gandhinagar court has jurisdiction to adjudicate the matter. So there is nothing but wrong if two courts have jurisdiction, one can say. But one cannot uh, refuse the other uh, other court's uh, power to adjudicate the matter. No, no. See, if in the family court jurisdiction, if there is a power with two courts, jurisdiction is with two courts, for one reason that marriage has solemnized somewhere or you are residing any other place. So either of the co two courts can adjudicate, but if the one court is, a, two courts cannot adjudicate, adjudicate simultaneously. Both the courts at Gandhinagar and Ahmedabad cannot uh, simultaneously adjudicate. If you have any issue with regard to jurisdiction of court at Gandhinagar, that you have raised and that was rejected. Now, if you want anything like you, if you have any any other issue, you can always file a transfer application. This petition is under Article Twenty Six mm -hmm. and not under Article Two Twenty Seven. See, your husband has filed divorce petition. Yeah, that is in Gandhinagar. Correct. You are saying that the court at Gandhinagar has no jurisdiction. Court at Ahmedabad has jurisdiction, right? Jurisdiction, both once you say both courts have jurisdiction, jurisdiction so anyone no, th then there cannot be an exclusive jurisdiction. Any one of the two courts can decide the matter. Two courts simultaneously, and if you have any issue, you can file a transfer application. Section twenty four. Why are you wasting your energy and time? You are appearing as party in person. Therefore, I am talking to you. See, your husband has filed an app, a, a petition for divorce under Section 13, which is pending in Gandhinagar. Right? You have two choices. You were staying in Gandhinagar before marriage or after, sorry, after marriage. Huh. Right? Were you were separated. you were separated from Gandhinagar? No. Yes. You I were residing know. with your you were residing with your husband at Gandhinagar after your marriage or not? No, I have not separated. Uh, 
separated. You have not been separated, but you were residing with your husband at Gandhi Nagar or not after marriage, correct? And your marriage was solemnized as at Ahmedabad. Yes. Correct. So that is how there are two places like Ahmedabad and Gandhi Nagar and both courts have jurisdiction. Right? Your husband lives in Gandhi Nagar. He files a divorce petition at Gandhi Nagar. You cannot argue that Gandhi Nagar court does not have jurisdiction to entertain the application under section 13, petition under section 13. If you have any difficulty, you can move an application for transfer from Gandhi Nagar to Ahmedabad. There is only one court to adjudicate the matter. Uh, no, both the courts have jurisdiction. Anyone can do it. Both the courts have. The, any one of them can do it. Which court has uh, exclusive jurisdiction? That is the choice of the plaintiff who files the petition. That is the person who files the suit or petition. He can choose between two courts. If you have any difficulty, you can file a transfer application. Section 24 of the Code of Civil Procedure applies in family court matters as well. Of, uh, Hindu marriage Would you take help of some counsel? It is very difficult to talk to a private person because you don't understand the law. You can only argue on some assumptions made by you. See, half knowledge becomes very difficult for you to understand what I am trying to tell you. You are, not, you are not able to grasp what the court is asking you. So it's better that you take help of the counsel if you have any difficulty. In engaging the council, we can provide you legal aid. That is why advocates are here. Parties, they themselves cannot understand their cases sometimes. You may have done some research. There are uh, three ratio of law. Which, uh... please, we, please don't tell us that. You may have done some research. Your research may be good according to you, but we are not deciding any research paper here. We have to decide the law, right? Law is that if two courts are having jurisdiction, concurrent jurisdiction, then any one of the court can, can decide the matter. And it would be the choice of the plaintiff to bring suit in any one of the court. So your husband is the plaintiff who has filed the suit, so he could have chosen either Ahmedabad or Gandhi Nagar. Suit is competent in both the courts. This is the law. And you are wasting your time and energy both in making this research and everything. I'm not researching anything. I just interpret the law. No, don't do that. This is the job of the advocates. Let them do their you, you cannot uh, do the job of a doctor. You cannot go to the operation theater and make operations. This is a highly uh, professional job. Everyone cannot do this. You may be very well acquainted with the facts of your case. But it is difficult for you to understand the law. Correct? You yourself say that there are two courts which have jurisdiction. So one court can take care of this. So you want to withdraw your review application. Or if you want to seek advice, you can seek advice of some counsel. We can provide you counsel. You want advocate? Yes. Okay. So direct him to. We are sending you. Are you earning person? You do not have any source of money. Okay. So now I am asking the bench secretary to direct you to the member secretary of uh, legal services authority. They will provide you a good counsel to contest your case. Free of cost. From the side of the high court.
Hmm. We are adjourning your matter, Miss Dave. We are adjourning your your matter for after ten days or two weeks. By the time you consult your counsel, okay. First, Any date after? First, first. Right. They will help you out. And this is in place. No, this is a direct rate petition which is challenging the GR of 2008. So, why would it come to the petition? It should go to GR, GR, cut us in the petition. Number six, Miss Dara Shah, the net government. You are challenging the validity of the government order. Please do not check in the bill. So then it should go before the learned single judge. I bought that, that no rules, the regulations, or any act of the legislature Please is know. under challenge. Earlier it was listed, but then the registry has asked to supply the second copy. That is why it is being placed before this. The present application is only to substitute the name of the president who has expired. No, even you are not challenging the government resolution. I am challenging one of the clause of the notification whereby my services has been said that... You are saying that the clause is discriminatory. Please, your Because Lord. it uh, prohibits people like you from getting pensionary benefits, though the qualifying uh, period of service has been reduced Please, your Lord. in the year Please, 2000. Please, your Lord. So this matter is cognizable by the single one. I, I would bow down. Look no problem. Looking to the prayer made in the red petition. Comma, we are of the considered opinion that the matter is cognizable by a single bench of this court dealing with service matters. There are other three identical uh, matters. Are the also... office is directed to place the matter before the appropriate bench. Please. Comma, if possible, in the next week. Please. And other three matters as and when listed. Where are they? They are uh, they are going to be listed in this court itself. Sure okay, about. whenever they are listed, please. or you can file an application and all those I would matters. Like please for listing. Please problem. Next number seven, Mr. Chirag Prajapati. Next one. I would like to file one draft. Okay. Okay. Listen. Hmm. Payment of college did the quantum of compensation. Yes. Please, please, please. Uh, why why there is a second repetition? If my loss kindly see the observation by this court on this para we have seen please, please, please. Please, then after oh, Milos, they are we said that you can agitate the quantum of compensation. Now you are saying that the compensation paid to you is less. Please, sir. Milos, Milos, apart from that, the numbers do? of the petition before prefer before this board, Milos. You are non-title holder. We Milos, cannot decide the, on the These are the similar of... kind of the case, Milos. 
these are the similar kind of case where this petition entered by this court milos if milos so total 63 person were affected milos you got money now we cannot decide on the quantum so here the case is this, like the, this is completely different matter you know, kindly appreciate for a moment you know, these are the you know, similar kind of facts you know, they are also the counsel the please this this there is nothing similar about it the issue is before us is we have decided that you have no claim for alternative space correct just because you can please, please you can only you came here and we have decided the issue correct you were making two prayers for you were asking for the alternative space ultimately the corporation has decided and gave an offer that they are agreeable to compensate you in lieu of the shop correct you in rejoinder have refused to accede to this request we have decided that you can, your claim to demand for alternative space is not acceptable because you are not the title holder of the place which has been utilized by the corporation it was corporation's land or state land correct now we can we only said that you can claim compensation and you can agitate for the quantum of compensation two submission uh, the first is minus that wise minus as my uh, lots as uh, what is the prayer in the repetition please minus in this repetition what is the prayer if my loss can the prayer close is page number 11 you cannot get compensation at the market, market. rate if my loss can market see. rate compensation even, is given only to the original owner the single page communication uh, then nothing non speaking order minus if my loss can see the Likhiga, it is an admitted minus, fact of the market kindly appreciate minus. i would like request that if that the petitioner kindly give my janthri rate minus it just minus i pass the minus uh, the, the petitioners here in have no right title or interest minus kindly appreciate for the lands in question comma which they have occupied for putting up their shops to run their business shops slash structures kareega they were temporary or permanent structures oh, permanent structure minus structures kareega to run their shops first stop para change kare the prayer made in the red petition to provide compensation to the petitioners on the basis of market rate comma on the premise of the provisions of the land acquisition act is wholly misconceived first of para change kare we may record that in the first round of litigation comma in special initiated by the petitioner here in namely one of the petitioner nay no, sorry by the petitioner here in no, sorry to disturb by one of the petitioner kare no, sorry to disturb i will i would like to request only one thing there, no, by the petitioner here in kare by the petitioners here in it was noted that the petitioners were occupiers of the shop, commercial shops in an area at measuring 319.05 square meters first off they however have no right title and interest over the land in question comma over which the commercial shops were constructed by them first off noticing that the petitioners were referred as non title holder comma the corporation had requested had accepted their request had given kare had and kare non title holder and the corporation had agreed to pay cash compensation in lieu of alternative space to the petitioners comma we have disposed of the red petition noticing that the prayer or the demand of the petitioners to provide alternative space was unacceptable be alternative space being non title holder was unacceptable to stop how for uprooting the petitioners from the place comma they are being since they are being compensated comma 
the action of the corporation cannot be said to be illegal or improper. First of however, while disposing of the repetition comma, it was kept open for the petitioner to approach the competent officer of Gujarat Metro Rail Corporation Limited, comma, along with the copy of the said order, aforesaid order, to seek payment of compensation and agitate on the quantum of compensation. First of all, it seems that... You see here. On the question of compensation, first of all, the instant petition has thus been filed by the petitioners agitating on the issue of quantum of compensation comma, on the premise that the petitioners were entitled for compensation by computing the jantri rate, jantri value of the property in question. First of all, change the Noticing the above submission, comma, the contention in the red petition is at college noticing capital. The contention of the red petition is that that the petitioners have given possession of the property in question to the authority under the hope and belief that they would get alternative space to run their business. Post of power. In spite of repeated demand made by the petitioners, Pharma, neither alternative space has been provided nor adequate amount of compensation has been paid. First of the contention is that the compensation paid to the petitioner is very less as compared to the market rate of the property in question. First of para change kar. Taking note of the above contentions of the petitioner here in comma, we find inherent fallacy in the arguments of the Learn Council for the petitioners to agitate on the quantum of compensation paid to the petitioners. First off, we may record that the corporation had already paid an amount of rupees 77,92,093 rupees to the petitioners at the time of eviction, their eviction from the shops in question. First off, in lieu of alternative space, Comma, in addition to the above noted amount of compensation, comma, additional amount of rupees 50, comma, 66, comma, 548 towards cash compensation has also been offered to the petition. Have you received it or not? No, Melissa. Which, okay. which they have refused to receive. First off, on the premise that liberty was granted to the petitioners to agitate the quantum of compensation, comma, the instant petition has been filed with the prayer to grant compensation at the market rate of the property in question by applying the provisions of the Land Acquisition Act. First off, para Having noted the above, Having noted the fact that the petitioners, having no, having noted the above facts, comma, for the simple reason that the petitioners have no right title or interest in the land in question, comma, their eviction or deprivation of the land of the shops, comma, cannot be given parity with the acquisition 
of the lands belonging to the owners land slash properties belonging to the their owners under the land acquisition act first of the petitioners cannot claim protection as granted to a land owner under article 300 capital a of the constitution of india as they have no right title or interest in the land in question first of for mere occupation of the lands in question which was otherwise owned by the corporation who who is the owner of the property state or the this private person oh. means private property means private property please means private property who are you means i am the means using that property last seven decades means okay. and means uh, the one more submission is that means occupation of the land in question of the property in question over which the petitioners have constructed their shops comma without any right title or interest thereon comma they cannot claim parity with the landowner comma who is otherwise entitled for compensation at the market value of the property slash land by applying the principles of the land acquisition act first of all change for the above noted reasons comma the amount of compensation offered to the petitioners by the metro rail Cor gujarat metro rail corporation limited comma in lieu of their displacement cannot be said to suffer from any error of law with the in view of the above the petition is dismissed as misconceived there's two submission if my office to me the first issue is the total 63 minus affected person out of 63 minus the 59 percent has already get the alternate space minus. they all are in their non title holder minus. and the minus second submission minus, uh, the whatever uh, uh, amount but is calculated 53 persons have got alternative spaces please minus. okay and the second is submission was uh, that's similar to what your mm -hmm. amount is calculated the square meter is a 22,000 so see if my looking that order was that's absolutely no speaking order was they didn't show me how the 22,000 is amount is coming even the minus generate is a 34,000 minus so minus, okay, as far as the contention of land council for the petitioner that out of 60 63 63 persons comma 63 occupants comma 53 have of have been provided alternative spaces by the metro rail corporation comma we find that the corporation had come out with the clear contention in the first round of litigation that they have no alternative space to provide to the petitioners here First of the issue with regard to the claim of the petitioners to provide an alternative space has been adjudicated by us in the judgment in order dated 11 10 2023 comma which cannot be reopened in the present petition and my second submission was second submission we have already this dealt the rate is 34 000. we have already dealt with. not though no so I, I think the amount is 20,000, 22,000 uh, any submission. You are not was. entitled for the market value or gentry rate. Was just because at least they have to provide us how they came with the 22,000 figure. Was. Mr. Council, you are an unauthorized occupant. So all are the person like whatever that. you are getting is bounty. You have no right. Was, it's a, all are the person are similar required to okay. All right. Whatever you got, be happy with that. Perim Tali Kata, Jindin Di Khatam Kari, Pada Fresh. Serial number 8, Mr. Rakesh R. Patel, the net. 
identical order may be passed. Eight and nine are uh, to be kept on third. Eight, nine, and twelve also. And twelve. Plus identical order. Third April. I have already got supplied the order. Not twelve. Third July. Only right. 12. Put up along with the same lot of subsequent orders. Put up along with the special civil application number two zero zero one nine of two thousand twenty three. On the date fixed there. That's right. May I request this one? Those were the matters which were listed on 1st of April. Yes. Okay. Matters, may I request you you said matters? that you will take decision for so, all. Yes, for the three districts. Yes. Subsequent then, individual matters are not to be so, looked into. They are from the same Banaskanta. Same, same, same everything. You said it. that you, you will even look after the cases of those who have not approached this code. Yes, great to me. Okay. Along with the COVID on the date fulfilled. Tell you next. Ten. Number ten, Mr. Yes. Hmm. It's... Yes, what is wrong with this order? See, I am we are in 227. They're requesting Seven. that uh, with cost lordships, I may be granted some time because what this cost? is a, uh, a government undertaking lordships and uh, the public cost? money involved lordships. We should be granted one opportunity lordships. Why opportunity? How many are granted earlier? Just see. Lordship, it is no. between... In August. August. When, when, was this, when was this suit filed by you? Suit is of original suit is of 1999, Lordships. So original suit is of 1999. 1999. There it was given number 2021. Yeah, no, Lordships. After, Thereafter, it was at that time to civil suit, Lordships. Then after it was commercial later suit, converted to commercial suit of 2021. 2021 Lordships. And in this suit, yes. what was the relief sought by you? Yes, Lordships. Relief sought by me lordship see that no you are not proceeding with the evidence hmm. what was the relief sought by yes, you in the suit of 1999 my my relief is that um, i have the amount against the personal property about 3 crore and odd amount lordships with interest uh, page 13 lordship and Who running will give you interest now when uh, you are not pursuing the suit why that would is we my grant that is my prayer lordships page 13 this is a lordship uh, you are this was a suit for recovery recovery lordship public sector undertaking now, given a may be public sector undertaking you do not have any kind of prerogative than no, any no, other I, litigant no, I, I may be put to cost lordship or any why would you because be this order given this liberty because you are a public sector corporation so you can have some kind of privileges. No, no privileges. Where are the privileges no, attached to you? No privileges. No, no now privileges. please come to the order in pure. Yes, page seven lordships. Hmm. Um, Mr. So and so a plaintiff, none for defendants. Order below exhibit one. At 4 8 2023, this court passed the following orders. On behalf of the learning article for plaintiff, time is spread. It appeared that since... in view of the findings returned by the commercial court. In the judgment in order dated 13 10 2023 for dismissal of the suit for non prosecution, comma, we do not find it a fit case to invoke our extraordinary supervisory jurisdiction under Article 227 of the Constitution of India to grant any leverage to the petitioner. May I submit one thing? Clearance. I may be permitted comma, to again approach the honorable court lord. Plaintiff. With that liberty. Of the original suit, first stop, para change. We may record that the original suit was filed, original suit for, for recovery was filed by the corporation, by the petitioner corporation in the year 1999. And with the creation of the commercial courts, comma, it was transferred and renumbered, transferred to the commercial court and renumbered as commercial civil suit number 788 double, double six. 766 of, of 2021 first off while passing the order for dismissal of while passing the order impugned comma it is noted by the commercial court that or say it is if the, i can if i can say one or two sentences the proceedings of the suit 
was being lingered on at the instance of the plaintiff itself. First off, the issues were framed on 4 8 2023 and the matter was listed for plaintiff's evidence on 25 8 2023. First off, The date fixed was for filing of documentary evidence which was not brought on record by the plaintiff, comma, in spite of repeated adjournments on 12-9-2023 and 11, adjournments to, 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 Sorry, 12 9 2023, 11 10 2023, and 13 10 2023. First off, when the matter was taken up on 13 10 2023, it was sought to be submitted by the learned advocate for the plaintiff that he was pursuing the matter with the department. However, he did not receive any evidence so far. First off, we may record that the instant petition has been filed after a gap of how many months? 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 13 10 2023 comma that too for the fault of the corporation in not providing instructions slash evidence to the learn advocate appearing before the commercial court first of para change good. no explanation has been offered in the present petition as well as to the delay in Presenting evidence before the com commercial court. First off, it is thus evident that the petitioner herein has been, has approached, has adopted a laxidal approach in litigating matter before the competent court. In pursuing, in pursuing the suit filed by it, for recovery before the commercial court. For recovery, for stop coverage. The sole argument placed by Learn Council for the petitioner before us is that the petitioner being a public sector undertaking, Petition. a public corporation, be given leverage to complete the evidence and pursue the suit by provide by levying cost and may not be non-suited as it would be against the interest of the corporation and as such the public at large. First of all, we are not impressed with the said argument of Learn Council for the petition for the simple reason that no infirmity can be found in the order passed by the learned single judge. Thank you. In the order of the commercial court, in the order of the commercial court, in not granting leverage or indulgence to the petitioners who were adopting a uh, delaying who were lingering on correct who were lingering on the proceedings on their own first up we may further note that the order impugned also records that on 21 4 2023 comma in spite of the cost imposed upon the petition comma neither the cost was paid not the matter was pursued with due diligence. First of all, para change. 
so this is not the case we therefore i, I didn't do prepare. not find it a fit case to interfere we therefore dismiss kare for the above kare for the for the above the instant petition may permit me to as approach the court again lord chief as miss at least that Next. i make इसमें थोड़ा सा ऐड करा दीजिए। आई आई मैं विड्रॉ दिस एंड परस्यू सॉरी आई एम ऑब्लाइज ग्रेटफुल डॉक्यूमेंट गोन रेक but then if you give it to me at 10:30 in the morning you know i need one day's time to go through what what are they trying to argue from this that's all come on my go then my otherwise not what is stated is reply is no but i submission i will not otherwise, take any risk or... not, since it is given to me at 10:30 minute i would like to go through it that's why okay. and only one day's time i don't mind if these documents gone recorded they need as read as read by are you filing it yes you know also not, is... there was a request not the list of authorities you know because you know we have ours they have there you know which was before the lower court you not know, can we exchange that you know? and if additional authorities are to be cited you not know, at least if, if those authorities were there already yes you not know, so no cited before the additional has to be cited you not know, in any case you not know, that you also you not know, we can exchange what is this document but uh, the electoral archives have in hand is not not the archives see that these I are the documents which were filed before the trial yes, court they are all and your archives may see from two onwards we have the index first page your archives may only see no so are you filing these documents Yeah, these documents. Or you are just referring can to I, them. Can I? Can I? Can I? I am filing it in this uh, subject to correction without any affidavit. No, this is not the. Uh, I'll file it together. These are documents which are some of them, but they are not already on record. No. In this matter, they are not on record. They are. So, written. if you want to I'll bring do. them on record, then they have to be filed along with an affidavit. All. Look here. I have a bunch of yeah. let them go on record. I, they can file an affidavit or even otherwise the court can take it. I have no issue. These are rejoined. But they were not. No, no. Part. We have an issue. <laughs> you may not have. This is not the correct. But exactly. Yes. Sir. The correct procedure is to file an affidavit. Yes, exactly. If they are relying upon any document okay. and we have to base our judgment yes, on that document, yes, then they have to be brought yes, on record by way of yes, affidavit. There is one more small difficulty. Not that. Uh, these are written submissions copies of issues etc which are there i will file it uh, these are documents which are already uh, what is happened uh, happened in the trial court <laughs> if i have to file an affidavit now this you you have to you, you want to look to the order this is not if your archives have recasting of issue commercial courts order 2 3 4 5 your archives may see Talks and uh, written submissions we That's don't know we don't know unless you say on affidavit that these are the written submissions Which you actually filed before the commercial court. That, How can the order? Right. One difficulty. That is the only difficulty. One difficulty must be uh, orders. I you can it. place before us without affidavit. Correct. No, that I'll, is not I'll, an I'll, issue. Sir, I'll do that. The uh, small difficulty is one of this. To be affirmed, it will have to be from Delhi because the office. That is, is not like, an issue. I'll do that. Your office may have to give one more day, but once the matter before the trial court is also tomorrow, with without recording, must with consent, it can be postponed by two or three days. What is the stage? 
the the stage is not on spot recasting of issues and further evidence etc so then it will not make any difference no because now this and section is section like recasting of issues is an important stage for us because no, the issue is raised issue. evidence has not begun how, how does it clearly evidence become? has not begun right issues have been framed right to say something as regards recasting of the issue you right. also would like to say something okay. so, so even they have filed an application for recasting it as can, of now I there is so. no uh, I may I no it? reason to postpone exactly. the proceeding. Can I just indicate why? Can I just and otherwise also, if you tell the court that the matter is before Wait, the I High Court, they themselves exactly. will not do it. I'm this not, is what is happening every day. Recasting has no bearing on this matter because ultimately it, it may have. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, okay. It, it may if the issues are recasted, it may have. It may exactly. they may again be recasted. Exactly. Recasting, re recasting. recasting and re recasting. So we we'll prefer the first Milord board. We will request the trial and the trial court to see that. Oh, you can but request that. In fact, I want it tomorrow. That's why. So we can keep this matter day after tomorrow. Your Lordship may just you know, oh, and I have just day after tomorrow is seventeen. The constituted attorney, if he's in Delhi, my Lordship, right. may just, you can check. Huh? One minute, my Lordship, just... yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. or it can be Manoj. Uh, yeah. Next Monday is coming. Can it be next Monday? Ah, yeah. uh, no issues for us. We are so here. That I don't have to Manoj. Yeah. The constituted attorney may not be. Here Monday also. As prayed, Karim, as prayed by the Council for the petition, the matter is posted on 22nd Not to enable yeah. him to file affidavit to bring on record the documents filed before the commercial court. Okay. You can give the copy in advance to Mr. That so that the same we are going to, and we will only the affidavit. Only the affidavit. That's on the, on the next day, we will not be granting your adjournment, Mr. Mehta. Yes, sir. I would, I would never ask. In fact, the court's consistent view is in fresh matters, never take an adjournment. Correct. But if something is given to me at 10 32, uh, not correct. even 10 30. Now you have an idea what they are yes. going to give you. <laughs> and they will, uh, you can provide the affidavit by Saturday or Sunday. Yes, certainly, it will be a one page affidavit. In advance. Say, this is enclosed. Yes, that is not. Certainly. We are relying on certain high court orders we're not in the AO. So, not, that I need not find it because we're not there also. No, not exactly. needed. So, I'll give a copy. No, court's not. order you can yeah, always. Where the court reserved for. Court's order you can always exactly. supply. Exactly. That is not an issue. Apply. No objection from our side. Apply. Thirteen, Mr. S. M. Kikani, learned. He's under railways. Chapter two. You give a uh, uh, notice to man, Miss Archana. Very well. I had word with her, my lord. She wants order from your lordships. I had word with her. Please. Notice of the red petition be provided to. Ms. Ms. Dot Arjuna Amin Lana advocate appearing for response three and four within 48 hours. Malas. Put up this matter on 18th. Malas. Correct. Position is taken on 2020 with compensation in it. That's a related thing. Yes. Mr. Anand Tanapara. Yes. What is the difficulty you are facing? The difficulty is that my land is acquired, the position is taken over. Uh, the sum compensation is not paid. Compensation. You give notice to Mr. Nanavati and he will seek instructions. Notice of the repetition be can Nanavati. Molik G Nanavati. The notice of the repetition be given to Mr. Molik G. Nanavati, Lana advocate, appearing for NHI brackets, full name, National Highway Authority of India within 48 hours, who shall seek instructions by the next date fixed. Put up this matter on 18th. Within 24 hours, you I give will, it early. I will, 
इसको साइन करा लीजिएगा दोनों ऑर्डर जल्दी नहीं तो आप 24 और 48 एट आवर्स का ऑर्डर दो दिन बाद कराते हैं सर बी केयरफुल यस फिफ्टीन मिस्टर आदित्य याग्निक एंड चैनी शाहव नोट रिकॉर्ड द लीव नोट एंड फिक्स डेट ट्वेंटी मैटर्स आर एट peremptorily six matters 74 to 76 siddharth h dave mr dhawal c dave and at sin advocate mr udit and vyas mr aishwarya what फाइन What is the next date fixed? Third May. Third May. Online will be shown as third of May. Look again in view of the order of the FX court, dated ten four twenty twenty four. Pama, the matter is posted on. It's third May. We are keeping it on sixth May. let it be on 6 we should have some kind of information as to what has transpired we are keeping it on 6 you can you can inform us sir i have some difficulty after for me that's what i anybody can make a mention on your behalf सेवेंटी सेवन एंड सेवेंटी एट मिस्टर मेहुल शरद शाह Mr. B. S. Patel, the net senior advocate, with Mr. Chirag B. Patel. pursuant to the last order my lord asked us to place on record my lord the agreement so my lord asked me lord to produce my lord agreement entered into between the nagar palika and the contractor so that my lord uh, the here problem is my lord that so far as that agreement is concerned even before arbitrator also my lord Four pages were not there, and uh, then I received Milord this contract from my learned friend Milord, and I had placed it on record. Sorry. Yes, Milord. You have signed this agreement. Do you want to give us a copy of the agreement? Yes, Milord. As per your loss of direction, Milord. My year. Since nineteen uh, nine, Milord, it is missing. Sorry. 
No, because Milan, yes, only. But your arbitrator has also decided without those three pages, Milan. You are not supposed. No, I understand. <laughs> So I, I understand my limit as well. The only, yes, yes, what, what I'm saying because that uh, my sub only, my probably regarding interest part, the only issue I can argue because I know my limit is something or arbitrator has awarded certain amount. I preferred appeal before district court under 37. That is also dismissed. But my only, I filed purses before district court saying that, sir, uh, against earnest money deposit, as well as uh, on some other uh, uh, amount also, pendant light interest is awarded. And therefore, I am uh, agitating that point in appeal. Let me, the district judge has not considered. Against which Millard I preferred this appeal. But the claim for, he has undergone some uh, work, Millard, and uh, the. Yes, Millard. The interest is. Uh, no, interest, interest is, Millard, the what point I raise is. That interest pendant light and interest on earnest money Miller. But that is the only part because otherwise I cannot challenge. So because we not in view of this latest judgment of Honorable Supreme Court, we not. I understand, Miller, but in view of uh, what happened that in one matter. Yes, in one matter, 15% and another matter, 12%. Miller. That is also another grievance. Slave-wise, but in one matter, Miller, 12% and another matter, 15%. Ah. Both between the two. Ah. But not... Yes, Miller, no, no clarification. The same right. same matter. Right. No, no, slab, yes, Milot. But, but after, after... Uh, no, no, how interest is awarded by the arbitrator? But kindly see page 93. Ninety-three table. If lots, you will see one B, simple interest at the rate fifteen percent. In another matter between the same party, it is awarded twelve percent. That is not the issue. Now, can you come to the finding of the trial court? Yes, at page sixty-five. I 60, think this is an order 68. passed under section thirty-four. Yes, ma'am. Correct. Sixty-five, ma'am. Or it is arbitrator's award. Rate of interest para 45. It is arbitrator. Uh, page, page 65. Ah, para 45. Okay. Now, can you come to this part, interest part? In light of the rate of interest claim and has calculated, the question which I am required to examine is to what should be... Pa read paragraph 44 also. 44. Relying upon the same decision which clearly stipulated that interest, if any, not to be awarded, then the same is required to be based on prohibition. Uh, provided under the agreement in the he says that no such prohibition yes. for not allowing interest can be seen because it was not placed before them before the arbitrator right but not one point i can agitate that in this matter he has awarded 15 percent okay okay and in another read, matter 12 percent read it further. there is no reason read it further yes in the present case, no prohibition is pointed out by the respondent for not allowing interest to the claimant. And in the said circumstances, claimant is entitled for interest. And therefore, the contents are taken by respondent is not maintainable. And surely the claimant is entitled for interest on that bills which have remained unpaid. And as per calculation made by claimant by claiming interest 80%. In light of the rate of interest claimed and as calculated, the question which I am required to examine is to what should be the rate of interest to be considered as reasonable rate of interest for awarding compound interest, if any. Mr. Patel placed reliance upon 317B of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act in which interest is not directed, then from the date of award to the date of payment mm. is payable at 18% as per the statute. The claimant has also placed reliance on the decision in the matter of and Minaxi Sundaram. Arbitration. Versus mm. South India Corporation and others reported in so-and-so, it has been considered that grant of interest at 18% per annum is not unreasonable. Another decision of the same point relied upon by claimant is in matter of Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited versus so and so. In the said case, arbitrator has granted 15% simple interest from the date of recession of the contract till the date of payment of the award. The award was passed in year 2000 when the rate of interest was much more than what is now and high court had considered 15% interest as legal and valid. The claimant has also produced documentary evidence 
from the Union of India in which the bank has mm -hmm. provided the details that the FDR the claimants were provided for overdraft facilities and the claimants were required to pay interest over the rate of simple interest on the deposit. And interest was debited every three months and thereby interest was getting converted into principal. One of the document is 2% higher than the current rate of bank. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. So surely, but last last four lines. Surely, according to me, it would be fair and reasonable yes, to have a simple interest is the rate of fifteen percent and not as claim by claim. So considering that honourable court has awarded not fifteen percent. See, this in, is this is fifteen percent simple interest. But in another matter, we are in the section thirty-seven. Why would we modify the award? But the only thing is that. Between the same party, Maybe. same arbitrator on the we same are not day, concerned with that award. There is no parity about interest. But the same arbitrator. There is no law that the there should party. be parity about interest. Would my lord see my lord in second matter page sixty three? Section thirty. Same arbitrator, my lord. Same parties. Mr. Counsel, is there any law that there should be parity in the interest? In awarding interest, is it the same contract? Same contractor. Therefore, I'm saying maybe same contract, no, not same contractor. Same no, no, contract. Contract. No, no. Is contract, contract is different. Contract is different. Not different work. Otherwise, and contractor then, is the same. Nagar Pali is the same. Maybe that, that is, is no same. ground to uh, sell the maybe interest too. part. Because my case, simple so, interest, fifteen percent, has calculated case. up to this. And then for that, he has recorded that one of the documents is a letter issued by Union Bank of India and overdraft without FDR. Interest is chargeable at 17.5% in the year 99 and 2015%. Earnest money also million interest is awarded. Therefore, my case is that in... Why could you not pay earnest money? Earnest money when... Well, how can you no, keep no, earnest money? which we are... Keeping with us, my lord, for pending. How can you keep it? But that when, lord, when, my when the work, clause, it was counsel, there, but that clause once the work is executed, you were supposed to pay everything. Yes, yes. Thereafter, you did ready, not pay. We are ready to return that amount no, during you, that period. Now, now you are ready. No, no. You should have paid it earlier. But I am saying, my lord, that earnest money which we have kept in the Mr. Uh, counsel, bank the, account. The only purpose of keeping of earnest money is that the contractor work. It was as a security. Once the contractor has completed the work, he you was entitled for the refund at that point of time. From that date, Millard interest, yes, but not during pendant light. Why? Is, Why? But that the money, the interest, the interest which you earned is also liable to be paid. It carries interest. It is the security which you kept in, a, in an interest fetching account. Normally, in our other contract, my lord, there is a provision. They have lost, they, they have normally, suffered lord, loss because of non payment on your part. No, my lord, normally. Since when you have not normally, paid? No, no, we have now paid, but the question is. Look, that normal, there is no, having noted that, there is no there dispute loss, about lord, but now it the is claims, but the right. award of claims towards principal, comma, only submission of land council for the appellant on. Next. The rates of interest awarded by the arbitrator cannot be appreciated for the simple reason that the arbitrator has given reasoning for award of interest on the principal which remained unpaid on account of fault on the part of the appellants. First of para change okay, even otherwise come within the scope of within the limited scope of section 37 of the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 comma it is not permissible for us to reappreciate the evidence to reach at a different conclusion than what has been concluded by the arbitrator the, the appeal is dismissed accordingly the affidavit file today is taken on record. Please. Both the matter.
Seventy-nine, Mr. Jaini Lam Shah, Mr. Dhawal Ji, Nana Vati, Mr. Kaushal Pandya, Planet Government. This land was acquired. Yes, part of the land has been acquired for the uh, 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 hundred meter road purpose. So he has not challenged the acquisition. He has challenged no, notifications are not subject not, matter of challenge. Then not, this prayer number one is misconceived. Yes. He cannot challenge the notification by saying that it was part of town planning scheme. Yes. And further more, he has purchased the land in April 2000. The notification has been issued under the section 1996. 1996 notification. Yeah. April 2000. Yeah. April 2000. April 2000. 11th April 2000. Okay. Interestingly, he is not saying that how much land from the you know, survey number 31 by, by, uh, by 1 by 3 has purchased. He is only, his claim is that he, he was holding spread of His only land. prayer is not to deduct the area of 379 square meter of the acquired land from the area of original plot. So for the acquisition part, he must have got compensation. The original owner must have got compensation. Yes. Oh, but they have not accepted. See, Maybe. Yes. That... So that area is to be deducted. So no one is present to press the petition. Where is he? Yes. I would inform my friend. Yes. Yes. So argue. You are for the petitioner. I would inform my friend that he was going to file a reply. Should, should what I reply? Ah oh, yes, they will pro produce it. That no reply after two thousand four. What reply they can file after it twenty years? In fact, yesterday my friend. Uh, he had... So when will you argue the matter? No. Now come to the main issue so Lord, can keep that you cannot challenge the land acquisition proceedings without challenging the notifications the acquisitions are of the year 1996 you purchased this land in the year 2000 the person whose land was acquired must have got compensation and if he has not got compensation you can at the best can get compensation you cannot challenge that the area which is acquired under the acquisition act 
should not be deducted from the town planning scheme. Our case was that there cannot be two acquisitions. The land no, Mr. Council, acquired ta- the acquisition act, that, that, that is, the same land that is totally acquired. misconceived notion. And on that, you cannot succeed for the you reason you, uh, you cannot succeed for the reason that there is no challenge to the acquisition notifications. So those notifications which were issued in 1996 cannot be challenged by you by a petition filed in the year 2004. Because, uh, because, uh... That, see, be ready on this aspect. You cannot challenge the acquisition part. You have no right to challenge because you are a subsequent purchaser. For acquisition, the law is that subsequent purchaser cannot challenge the acquisition. He is only entitled for the uh, compensation. We are not challenging the acquisition. We are challenging the... Uh, the... Without challenging acquisition, how can you succeed? Uh, Those two first... Our case is that... Uh, Mr. That... Council, you cannot succeed in these two prayers. Very well. Would you not, not... These A and B prayers cannot... are misconceived prayers on in, your part. In fact... Uh... As as... No, first thing is that you are a subsequent purchaser. So it does not lie in your mouth to say that the acquisition proceedings of 1996 were bad because there was a town planning scheme. A town planning scheme is completely different part and acquisition is completely so different. The they operate They school. operate independently. So there are judgments. So we will produce judgments. You cannot succeed. You cannot challenge Mr. Council. We are on your locus to challenge the acquisition part. Very well. Would you, would you, would you, so law, the law that, in the matter of acquisition is that a subsequent purchaser cannot challenge acquisition. That is a settled law with the Supreme Court decisions. There is a long line of decisions. Our, our challenge is not only to the acquisition, our challenge is to the... So A and B prayer, you cannot succeed. Yeah, now that, now that let us see... The town planning of the same land which was acquired... That is also not a ground. So there cannot be two acquisitions. No, Mr. Council, town planning is not an acquisition. The, the, would you allow to keep it next week? Yes. Because... Uh, because uh, All this is like, you cannot... See, you cannot challenge acquisition. If you cannot challenge acquisition, then the other issues you can raise are only in relation to town planning scheme. Yes. Nothing so, beyond that. The town planning scheme, the, the land which was taken under the town planning scheme, the same land was acquired. So th- That is not your concern. The original owner must have got compensation for that. You are a person who purchased the land, acquired land. That land was vested with the state government. And in fact, the, in the in the reply, Suda also mentioned that the, you have 8,000 square meters of land uh, available and that land would be considered at the time of uh, uh, assigning a final plot. The, there is an affidavit by the officer of Suda. That affidavit is not going to help you, Mr. Council. There the, cannot I, be any concession against law. That affidavit of any officer is not going to help you. So be ready on this yes, point right. that you cannot challenge the opposition part. We were under the impression that, uh, that this... okay, all right. On the as a last opportunity, on the prayer made by Mr. Mehul Sharad Shah. Uh-huh. Not yes, on my request yes, because. Yes, yes. Jenil M. Shah. Yes, on your request. Because, because we are adjoining that we are adjoining on your request. Otherwise, we are ready to hear the matter. The impression that the other Mr. Council, then it is your request. Very, Who, whose very, request is this? Very well. Very. <laughs> on the request of Mr. Jenil M. Shah, learn advocate for the petitioner. The matter is posted on as the last opportunity career. On 24th, making it clear that no further adjournment would be granted. Next. Would, would your lordship keep it on 30th? Would your lordship keep it on 30th? Sir. After 20 years, we have to decide this matter. Very.
सीरियल नंबर एटी रोहन लव कुमार These were properties sold by the liquidator through an asset sale committee. That order was subsequently uh, confirmed, subsequently recalled by the High Court. Thereafter, once again, the order was confirmed, once again recalled. That recall is pending before the Honorable Supreme Court. We had pointed this out to your ladyships on the last occasion, where your ladyships was pleased to adjourn the matter. <laughs> Would your ladyships have the order dated twenty fifth January two zero two four? Okay, then you have the order dated twenty five one twenty twenty four passed by us. The matter is posted <laughs> in the last week of July. Kar dijiye. Not the progress. Made in the pending matters before the apex court shall be brought on record. They've been admitted in two thousand nineteen. No next date is due. Next date is eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Not. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank सीरियल नंबर एटी वन एम एस तृषा पटेल हेमांत शाह सॉफ्ट कॉपी then i will be forced to move an application as your ladyship suggested that i can be heard therefore i have not moved that former application in this yo moto they don't therefore they don't supply me the copy to also no, we are sorry my lord in fact last on very, last very day, sad thing so we will give just now copy yes yes certain 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 but i right now i i give in the copy bro ऑर्डर डेटेड ट्वेल्थ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर नंबर वन मिलोड इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन वॉटर बॉडीज वॉट आर दरेंजमेंट इन प्लेस आई एम सपोज टू से नंबर टू मिलोड माई लॉस्ट मिलोड डिजायर दैट वी शुड फ्रेम सम काइंड ऑफ इंटरिम गाइडलाइंस दैट वी है number 3 milord it was desired that the committee which has been appointed to study everything to come out with the legislative milord arrangement 
the committee must meet that, that uh, meeting has taken place or not. So annexure R1, or if I just take the Honorable Court to the affidavit, starts from page four four three. Para three, my lord. With reference to below twenty one sites, as to what is the position we have given the details. Page four four three. Four four three, para three. You said that I said that as regards the details. You have filed of... some affidavit. Have you filed some pardon? Okay, affidavit is fine. Yes, fine. I'm sorry. Twelve four twenty twenty four. So this is in compliance with twelfth March twenty twenty four order. Okay, and the affidavit is twelve four. Lordship. Right. So the, am I with my lords at page four four three? Hmm. Para three. Hmm. I say that as regards details of the arrangements made by the respective corporations authorities for running amusement activities in 21 water bodies within the state upon the requisite inquiry having been made by the concerned authorities, the Home Department has been provided details as to what are the facilities available at the state 21 site so as to ensure the life, life safety standards. You know, these annexures are from page 446 to 488. 446 to? 446 to 488. Hmm. So we have provided details as regards to uh, how many boats, the types of boats, the other provisions, below. If you know about can you see page 446, this is with reference to Milo Kanye. This document at, at page 488. 488. Eight. Not sure. It starts from page 487. Give me a minute. Yes, but this is the information you have collected yes, from different corporations Not sure. with the questionnaire which you have prepared Not sure. and they have answered to the questionnaire. Not sure. Not sure. Who who has answered this questionnaire? No, we have asked without the uh, respective corporations and the municipalities. Hmm. But none of these documents are signed by any person. There is no communication, covering letter, nothing of the sort. It is kind of compilation by some officer. But not, uh, of course, it is not stated in so many words. We also followed without subsequently without inspection to check below whether it is correct or not. I can put on a Philippine but that has also been done. Mm. So it, it carries with no, the heart. There has to be, sir. I, I, I quite see. I quite see. Agreement in the yes. affidavit as to how you I propose my Lord, and my what are the communications, the transit, the. Right. We'll, 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 we'll fill up that gap. There is one difficulty which I want to share with you. Please. Like drafting of affidavits in the office of the GP has to be taken care of. No, I, I, I quite see with this. In many of we are the, on the task we have of getting seen, the needful no. done, including the verification, be, below. Affidavits cannot be sketchy. It should be below full of details. I, I quite see. Like in one of the matters, only one line affidavit was there, and then all documents in tabular form. And when we asked for the personal affidavit of the collector, answering the queries, then do the discuss. So they have to be careful. Right. We will be. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be in Otherwise, fact, they are uh, putting those officers in difficulty. Right. So I think being the advocate general, you must take this issue. No, we will. We will. At your own Definitely. and putting this house in order that they cannot file affidavit like I that. Am. They are filing affidavit of the Secretary Home Department. 
the at least below, who, who has supply to be... these details. At least tomorrow, below, if something is below that, right, not correct, factually mm -hmm. correct, below. At least that responsibility shall have to be below assignment. So that is in respect of twenty-one sites. We will below uh, put on record that uh, who supplied this and whether inspection has been done or not. My instructions are inspection has been done to check whether this facilities are in place or not. At least there should be communication of the officers yes. of the corporation in the name of the secretary, intimating that supplied. this is done. Yes. And those, those should have been brought on record. So at least that, that full circle should be not complete. Mm -hmm. I, I quite see. We will get the net full done, I can assure. So we are not saying anything, you file a better affidavit. You know, rest of the parts FG, Honorable God would like to see. Mm -hmm. Because Honorable God was more concerned with the you know, the guidelines to be framed. Mm -hmm. That Lord Shemi can find at page 495. Hmm. Lord, the purpose uh, after the preface, Lord, the interim guidelines establishes a comprehensive framework for the safe operation of Category C crafts, which are less than 10 meters across all water bodies, lakes, ponds, rivers, so and so, within Gujarat, with the final legislation and guidelines for the registration and operation of Category C vessels in accordance with the England Vessels Act shall come into force, including current boating activities. Scope is below uh, all kinds of below activities below. below. We have appointed a committee below page 496, district water side safety committee below. So it will be a district wise committee. Composition is in clause four. The chairperson is the district magistrate. And the members below are below representing various authorities below. Page 497, clause 5, my Lord, we have desired that the authority should meet once every month. Clause 6 is about role, roles and responsibilities of the authority, regular inspection and monitoring. For this part, I suppose uh, you can uh, have you shared this affidavit with uh, yes. Mr. Shukla. Yes. So, Mr. Shukla, you may go through and make your suggestions and you also. The micas also, they may go through the guidelines and make any suggestions that's if they want to make. So we are on trying to not make as as a, a wider comprehensive. Yes, no, comprehensive. Uh, they point out one aspect mm -hmm. the guidelines are dated six of April two thousand twenty-four. Mm -hmm. The guidelines dated six of April two thousand twenty-four. Ah, so you go through it in detail. Just, just one thing. Kindly see paragraph uh, clause seventeen of the same guidelines. Which provides for safety measures, but on page 503. Clause B may kindly be seen. 16 or 17? On uh -huh. page 503. Mm -hmm. um, the clause B reads like this the number of life jackets for adults and small children should be at least 20% more than the total boating passenger capacity. Um, as against that, please see the data which has been provided today. Uh, which data? No, it will not be not. Which then, data? The uh, details of those that data that data is the current situation. Yes, this guideline is issued by What's them in April. Yes, so now for implementation of guidelines, there has to be some time yes. frame that which is, is to be given to all of them. They have to respond to that guidelines. Yes, that was that so. Was first, you go th see right now. We we are asking you to suggest anything to be incorporated yes. in the guideline. Right. Implementation can, is second part. One suggestion can be that there has to be some role of the high court. Some no, no. officer we or some advocate the, who is ready and We cannot to, be the monitoring. No, no. In, in the sense that in this committee, whether the supervision... No, no. no. The committee is yet no. to be constituted. No, yes, that's or if somebody... In administrative matters, we cannot include the high court advocates. Sorry. 
their job is to not to implement the law they are job so, is to see, see so that, that is there is supervision any, can be there there is any some bias. officer from the courts no no there the job of the advocates is to put up the case matter only when there is a there violation. is no more suggestion with regard to the main issue the the mishap if the trial is to be handed over to some fast track court there will be some otherwise it will linger in the normal court trial if for what this this mishap a fire criminal, criminal trial yes so if it can be handed over to some fast track court Mr. like constituting a special fast track court that will go a long way there are many criminal trials which are more, uh, more important this i think is also this. equally important so far as the supreme court says that the high court at the drop of hat should not expedite a trial so that we will see later first but and what about nothing is moving because see two things have been left out the district education office is not even wrong you go through this we are making suggestions they will do it then my your leadership may keep it give you a short date yes, because yes. this goes for two we weeks and four weeks we are doing that huh. yes mr what is the third issue which we have uh, highlighted in our order about, about the about inquiry because my lords will not indicated your committee is a, like a large jumbo committee will not be able to meet so my lords desired that at least there should be meeting we have lord met below page uh, 511 this is the committee which is uh, for the purpose of framing the uh, law legislation and in the meantime my lord these guidelines also my lord is because of that okay this is for safety guidelines safety guidelines and these are the interim guidelines Not interim. so how much time do you expect that it, this committee will take to frame the guidelines lord, you have some this guidelines are below the till the legislation comes in picture below okay this guideline is will remain in frame if my the learned mic so this has any suggestion this guide, to try to incorporate this guideline is framed by this very committee this very committee 511 yes 511 that's right okay sir. that committee below lord shimi can you find it is at page Four forty one. Ah, uh, so like this page five one one onwards. Lordship shows that there were meetings of the committee yes, and sir. they have framed the guidelines, Lordship. right? Now, what about the disciplinary action in the role of the corporation officials in not supervising this? I think, uh, Mr. Were there any direction not... was there? They say on affidavit that they have taken some action, my lord. I think. We required Mr. Vic to file affidavit of the municipal commissioner to bring before us the entire record in the matter of grant. It is the last order. That is the that you have filed. Leadership as regards the departmental person, honorable court will have the data at seventy three. i have mm. some further updates also one person is dismissed service is terminated one individual suspended and against huh. four others in the last order on 12/3/2024 2024 we have called for the response of the municipal commissioner to the queries okay aja we have noted that your response would be seen on the next date Please. fixed yeah what was the issue which we flagged in Twenty nine one twenty four order. Please, may I request the inquiry order? into the incident pertaining to administrative and technical lapses? Please. अच्छा वो तो district magistrate has conducted that. What was to be done at the, on the part of the What municipal part commissioner? Corporation, I had identified. So the honourable court's order had five points. Paragraph five. Paragraph five. Yes, yes. Can you read it? Having gone through the affidavit filed on behalf of the state, we require Mr. Vir, learned advocate, appearing for the respondent number two, Vadodara Municipal Corporation, to file affidavit of the municipal commissioner B M C. Continue after lunch. Please. Let us be continuing it to after lunch. Well done.
अगले जी है you were required to bring the entire record in the matter of grant of contract please sir for development of the lake particular please. lake and you were required to explain in what manner boating activities were permitted please sir in the lake at harni without adhering to safety norms and then paragraph 6 also your decision 6 also and 7 to also. bring before the court as how contractor was permitted to carry out such activities whether any supervision was there or not and copy of the agreement please sir and yes para, para 7 was disciplinary bill. that was the that was the inquiry which was sought to be conducted by the collector no your ladyship this would be departmental process so the collector no. was tasked with the inquiry of the incident no the inquiry into the incident pertaining to administrative and uh, technical lapses is to be conducted by a competent officer a district magistrate vadodara as appointed by the state then then if i may read the steps if the any... steps if any taken by the corporation against the hearing official please sir right if i can first so Please. what about the record of the contract please sir record the... of the contract supervision and disciplinary action, action. The, the tender document starts at page 76 your page this affidavit was filed by by the commissioner when on 19th february 2024 page 75 so the, the affidavit order order is yeah. january okay. mm -hmm. the affidavit starts at page 70 uh, page 49 your ladyship mm -hmm. and the affirmation is at page 75 mm -hmm. we have seen that tender document in one paragraph you say that life guards and jackets should be there that's page, all page 83 beyond that nothing is there not. particularly right. the query where is the contract yes the contract is at page 192 this is tender document page contract is 20th july 2017 at page 190th july 2017 17 for how many years this was a contract for a period of 33 years 30 30 years plus some buffer period 30 years contract please to one person for running this boat ride please 193 if the honorable court can see because the reference is of the tender so if i can request the court to have 193 below now this agreement witnesses as follows eoi was published in local newspaper of vadodara vide so and so item number 3 tender eoi document consisting of one technical bid and drawing two price bid you are not concerned with this honorable court wants to see safety parameters you are not concerned with the eoi or technical bid or drawing page or all this or safety is 194 your lady mm. bus safety of men and property 7 and paragraph 7 that's what is this unfortunately this is the what is this this is a default clause without any safety measures recorded in the uh, contract no terms and conditions of the contract has been laid down 196 only two conditions they are not sufficient but only two conditions are there have you cancelled this contract or we have, not we have cancelled it immediately on the 19th of january and you are giving this this type of contracts for the no we are not we have stopped this this was a mr advocate general gotcha. you have to check this the way this 
contracts are executed fact, not, that too for 30 years under ppp so, mode should, should not have been done for it. in fact we have called for the copies of all the contracts we are studying me not and wherever such clauses are there are there has to, to be a some. standard standard yes. contract conditions and the, these contracts cannot be like right. it's not uh, you are uh, constructing a road Right. Or highway for 30 years, you have given this property on lease. And there is no provision for inspection and supervision. So now we are making a point. It's that kind of giving that person ownership of the lake. Virtually like that. That's all right. This is really irresponsible. Right. And who signed this contract? Who is the signatory? The, the then... Uh, incumbent commissioner. Municipal commissioner. Uh, municipal commissioner. Right. And where is the decision? Who decided that this is how the contract has to be given? It was under PPP mode. It was decided by the standing committee. And where the, is the decision of the standing committee? Page 179 is the decision of the standing committee. Which resolution we want to see. It is the resolution, your leadership. 170. There is translation at 180 onwards. The Gujarati resolution is 179. It is dated 6th of September, 8th of September 2016. The translation starts at 180, your ladyship. Thereafter, this is carried to the general board of the corporation at page 183 on 12th September 2016. And he is the only one who was considered. There was no public option. Said, so even on there was no procedure, nothing adopted. Who participated? Only one qualified. Where contract. is the participation? Only one. So two technical. If if now no one qualified in the technical bid, and there was only one no person, you should have event. you should have gone for the for fresh There's tender. No you cannot proceed like this. Please. You let this public property, this person earn on the public property. What uh, uh, renovations work he has conducted? The Do you have any detail about that? Please. So you have given this lake on a PPP mode, PPP mode with the idea that he will be conducting renovation work so of the lake. A building Correct. complex, a party plot, some shops, yes. nothing in context of the lake. I must start. The C-181. Unfortunately. You said lake renovation work. So instead of renovation work, he has built up shops over there and he earned out of it. They were on, they were on lease basis. So this inquiry into the manner in which this contract has been granted is to be conducted by the Secretary of Urban Development. Please. Mr. A.G. Mr. Okay. Trivedi. This this inquiry has to be conducted in the manner in which this contract has been granted, even by the then municipal commissioner and the standing committee. Their role. This what is a very serious matter. Right. Papa, this very person who got the contract was ineligible for two months. Just to accommodate him, it was shifted after two months so that he becomes eligible. And then lake renovation work. What lake renovation work has he done? Only peripheral development of the lake has taken place. Two jetties were constructed. One for the boating activity. and one... This is not renovation it of is not. lake? So, although the contract, I must assist the court fairly. Although the contract said renovation, lake is not renovated. It is peripheral work. The lease, the lease of the the lease of the shop, money goes to whom? The lease of the shop, some charges were paid to corporation, Every, money went to contract. Everything was uh, kept by him. Money went to contract. Because what they have decided is to give on PPP mm -hmm. mode. PPP. That they don't have to invest. The corporation doesn't have to invest for renovation work. Except that was the idea. And this, this model cannot work like this. Concession agreements are not drafted like this. This is kind of concession agreement. In four you have given this property on zero rent. 
on a annual very premium, nominal negligible negligible to a person to earn out of it and then you let him do this from 2017 till today nothing was done by anyone periodic check all those municipal commissioner came and went away your ladyship unfortunately this was handled this by... is kind of uh, really this is this is this is kind of mis complete misutilization of public property you have entered a private person into a public property to earn out of it we the party plot and the shocks for which earn very heavy without paying much to corporation there has to be serious nothing. repercussions about this concession agreement so we would be ordering an inquiry into the role of the standing committee members of the standing committee and the then municipal commissioner the commissioner, commissioner would be the other. and the commissioner over the period of years like the then commissioner has granted this but others were required to look into this who granted the contract in 2007 who signed he signed the contract 17 be the then incumbent commissioner. in 2017 Seven. and the municipal commissioners who took over thereafter they are also responsible for the same situation your leadership subsequently because for two years it was closed because of covid it cannot be an excuse i am just respectfully pointing i am only ordering for inquiry they Please. will look into what has happened actually and how it was done this is state property this is not the property of the corporation please and even if it is the property of the corporation they cannot give it to a private person like this and where is the detail how much amount he has paid to the corporation till date only 3 lakh 3 lakhs per year 3 lakh per annum per annum is the premium that is it is at page 178 that is the fixed fee any report with regard to the work done by him there are approvals granted on all fronts fire safety structural stability work done by him in the in uh, improvement of the lake no except the two jetties nothing two jetties in have you stated in the affidavit it is there in the report your ladyship where is the report please you so 347 is the on site panchroj kam followed by the re the report is of the district magistrate the district magistrate has confirmed in the inquiry that is done but the panchroj kam at 347 as regards specifically on the lake annexure r33 the unfortunate part is life jackets were available no we are not on the life jacket part right now what is the you have given him this lake on ppp mode that he will invest and then then on out of it so there only for the investment and then you have not even decided as to how much when, when will you he, he will uh, what investment he would carry out what are the areas where he he would work what improvements he was supposed to make in the lake For that, all this is missing for that there would be a detailed project report i can place it on record it is where is the project report it is a it is an extremely bulky document which contains all work as far as okay, have you brought it on record it that is, what was the what was the areas in which he was uh, supposed to invest and what has he done till 2024 till the date of the incident i, I may have to file an affidavit for i that is not on record so why do you miss all these 
you you need query for every answer no, no. it it should have been on record this approach is not acceptable every time you expect the court to cross you and then come out with something and then you will answer we will place it on if you are keeping mum and not putting the correct and complete picture before the court then you are also responsible we would place it we have called for the affidavit of the municipal commissioner not only to answer our queries but to bring everything before us the dpr i can place on record it is one document i am not supposed to look to dpr with i want summary. your report with as summary. to what was the time period within which he was supposed to conduct the work and what was the amount of work which he was supposed to conduct complete and whether it is and whether it was completed or not and if the work was not completed what action has been taken by you the, where is all this the sanctions statutory sanctions are there that report i will place on record it is not there. mr virk it will be on record you are doing the same thing which you are you you are doing in uh, sabarmati riverfront matter the honorable please government. don't do this will we will pull you like anything we have left you in that matter we are not leaving you here don't there. play with the court ask your municipal commissioner not to behave smartly in the court tell him not to do this you are doing the same thing which you have done there we will see that it is done your ladyship why have you not given us the complete affidavit except why what do you mean by except why would you leave one thing except in front why would you do that the lake related why would you do that if i may answer where is the answer to this page 17 347 page 3 we will be issuing contempt proceeding against the municipal commissioner we are very clear about this. lake centric don't do this structure is there your ladyship i would still put it on record with the dpr i ask you to bring everything on record the contract and the, the all the conditions of the contract now you have given us a sketchy contract without the conditions of the contract bringing on record and then you are saying except when we said that entire record what do you mean by the entire record should i read my order may i may i only what do you mean by the entire record the entire lake infrastructure should, should i read the order entire lake infrastructure entire lake infrastructure so why have you not brought it on record ladyship except shops the what do you mean by except except shops everything is there we will put that also on affidavit we need again you are not understanding what we are trying to say uh, you have given this lake on ppp mode to this person we have asked you to bring the entire record of the contract given to the contractor now we are asking you whether the contract lays down the terms and conditions of the improvement work and the timeline which the contractor was supposed to conduct there is nothing in the contract right now you are saying that there is a complete dpr but dpr was approved and dpr lays down the timeline correct then dpr should ought to have been there or if the dpr is bulking you should have written in, in your uh, affidavit every facts were required to be disclosed in the affidavit that this is what the work he was supposed to do and this is what he has done and this is how you have proceeded if i may respectfully no no don't submit anything the dpr i can we we don't that. want your your submissions at all on affidavit we will put the dpr what do you mean by this the tender why do you understand what the court is asking or you are playing smart can i request the court to have the tender only for a moment because the mr vik please don't do this i will place the dpr please don't test the patience of the court i will place the dpr and if you are doing this you are putting your your municipal commissioner in a dangerous position i will place the dpr on record with the affidavit and a summary a one page summary either you are not understanding what we are asking you otherwise you would not have answered like this or you are not able to convey Honorable. but we are live so everything thing is conveyed to everyone we know this we will very well we will so even you, he can look to the uh, these proceedings and see what is to be uh, brought before the court we will place it on affidavit honorable court may grant us a short accommodation we will place the dpr and the summary you have made the mockery of the court this way and then you are defending 
But leadership in this case, there is no question of defending. There is a fault on... Please, Mr. Counsel. You're saying fault is not enough. We want the entire record before us to see what you have actually done. Our order is clear to that aspect. Leadership, the rate of the party plot per day is 1,30,000. No outside food, no outside decoration, everything has We paid. said we require Mr. So and so to file affidavit of the municipal commissioner, Vadodra Municipal Corporation, to bring before us the entire record in the matter of grant of contract in favor of so and so for development of Lake So and so on PPP mode. What does this mean? The entire compound. Why have you not brought it on record? Our focus was on safety aspects. Why, 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 why would you focus on the safety aspect when we have said everything in the order? You place. don't read order at the time of preparation of the affidavit? We have done or that. you are trying to uh, to say to hide something? That was, that yes, was it seems so. That is not the case. Yes. We will place the entire DPR with a one-page summary of the commissioner. What one-page summary? Answering all we the questions. We want every sentence in the affidavit. With on affidavit, the summary would be not not a, a summary. On affidavit, on affidavit. Everything should be on affidavit. From day day one, what has happened? How you have proceeded to give this contract, and how this uh, contract was given, and how this was finalized, and then how what what have you done after the contract was signed? Please. Everyone, and you can't say this that you have come right now and you were not there before. Records are there before. And if there are no records, then place it on record that you don't have any record. And place the entire original record pertaining to the contract granted to you, to this person on the next date. We will have the file, including it in the affidavit, but also the original file. And then you are suspending additional assistant engineer, the yes. smallest of the persons, sack him. This is how you proceed. He has not signed the contract. Why would you sack, you sack him? Where is the instruction of the municipal commissioner? Where is the report that the assistant engineer was supposed to supervise? There is a futuristic cell within the corporation. These officers were... Please don't don't uh, tell us these beautiful words like fut they were futuristic cell. On the first hand. We don't... We are not uh, at all impressed by these words. You keep them with you. Thank you.
when we produce the personal affidavit of the municipal commissioner comma Badudra municipal corporation comma we found that correct and complete facts with regard to complete facts in the matter of grant of contract in favor of so and so for development of Harni so and so lake on PPP mode has not been brought on record. Post of several queries made by the court during the course of arguments could not be answered by Mr. G. H. Wirk, learn advocate appearing for the Vadodara Municipal Corporation. First off, we may note that the tender document contains a proposal for lake development and amenities to be provided by the contractor. The details of the revenue generation, certain, certain details of the revenue generation is also included in the tender document. First off, the contract awarded in favor of so-and-so was for 30 years on PPP mode, comma, on a nominal premium of 3 lakhs per annum, comma. First of all, the concessionaire agreement slash contract brought before us is a sketchy in nature. It does not, first of all, it does not provide the detail of the development work to be carried out by the contractor as per the decision of the standing committee dated 8-9-2016 for providing for approval career for approval of the special project of Vadodara Municipal Corporation, comma, of renovation work of Harni Motnath Lake, comma, first of the tender, the upper usual of the tender. Document also indicates that tender was floated for development of Harni Motnath Lake in Vadodara city on PPP basis. First off, there is complete silence in the affidavit of the municipal commissioner about the development work, comma, if any, conducted by the contractor since the date of award of the contract, comma, any supervision work by the off career of development, comma, if any, carried out. First off. The affidavit speaks of action taken against the erring official of the corporation without even disclosing the error on the part of the contractor or the error on the part and, and the error on the part of the officials of the municipal corporation. The factual report dated 3 2 2024 of the Deputy Municipal Commissioner Brackets Administration is sketchy and cannot be accepted. Post up. In any case, comma, the entire affidavit 
of the municipal commissioner, comma, Vadodara Municipal Corporation, filed on February date, so and so, does not answer, does not give a clear and complete picture of the manner in which the contract was awarded and in the year 2017. And further, supervision made by the corporation officials, first off. It does not answer to the queries made by the court in the order dated 29-1-2024 and therefore cannot be accepted by us. First off, para change group. On the asking of the court as to how incomplete information can be provided by the municipal commissioner, comma, municipal commissioner of the corporation, comma, on the prayer made by a prayer, a prayer has been made by Mr. G. H. Virkil, an advocate appearing for the corporation, to provide further time to bring correct and complete facts, answering all queries of the court on record. First of para change kar. For the aforesaid, comma, we post the matter on date kar dije. In addition to the disclosure in the affidavit of the municipal corporation, we further provide that the entire original record pertaining to grant of contract to the concerned contractor shall be placed before the court on the next date fixed, comma, along with the Inspection work, comma, if any carried out at the ends of the corporation over the period of during the during the subsistence of the contract. Can I just point out that? <laughs> And next time, bring everything before us and in the affidavit. Please. Your affidavit should not be sketchy, otherwise, we will not leave anyone. Please. We will initiate inquiry against the commissioner, the present incumbent. May I? Page B. I have made specific averments how this contract was given. And in fact, on page C, I have mentioned that Portia Projects subcontracted the boating facility to Messrs. Dolphin Entertainment and Amusement Park Private Limited. So there's again subcontracting also. Whereas the tender on page 128 says that there will not be any provision for subcontracting. Where is that? Page 3. Page B and C, if my lady should B and C, what do you mean by B and C? Uh, yeah, the memo. So, the memo. So, 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 memo. So, 2.4. Yes, but uh, before that, 2.1 onwards, if I can. Page B. Member of this room. If you are not fair, you will be in loop. Be careful. The Honorable Court may be. Don't try to hide anything from the court. Please. And don't say that the record was bulky or something of the sort. That could we not. are not going to accept this kind of excuses. That could not. Be careful when you are answering to the court and especially more careful when you are filing personal affidavit of the officers. Please. You cannot put them in any difficulty. It is the duty of the advocate to guide the officer and confront them. If you are counsel for a corporation, your duty is double than any private counsel. Please. You cannot be sketchy. Para 2.1. During 2015, response number two had issued a tender for setting up recreational facilities in designated area near Hanley Pond for a period of 30 years. Only two contractors, Messrs. Kotia Projects and Messrs. Maglam. Look, you specific 
can a specific response and para 2.4 to the assertions made in paragraph 2.1 to 2.8 2.4 and thereafter page 128 the clause of the memo of the instant petition as also page page 128 clause 21 work not to be sublet it's part of the affidavit which has been filed by the uh, is, 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 yeah. is, is to be correct is to be given by the municipal commission in his affidavit to answer as to how To, to answer the contentions that the contractor had sublet the contract as against the condition Clause number 21. page page 128 right at the bottom as against yeah contrary Kuri. contrary to the conditions of clause 21 this is tender tender document or so part of the tender document only tender document they have not brought anything in the contract contract is completely sketchy and this is how they draft concessionaire agreement this is not a, not a contract for one year two years for 30 years for 30 years that too on nominal price we like 1111 rupees clause 21 Karim, of the tender document Hmm. Concessionaire agreement is for one rupee, and then uh, you he, you gave him on three lakhs per annum, which is also nominal. Even safety measures are mentioned in para two point five of the memo on ground C. So your leadership may add from para two point one to two point five. That is also added. That is the life jacket. Life standard. jacket. That is the main thing. That is the main issue here. Main issues are many. The main issue is to be addressed at the nip of the bud. The main issue is how the contract was given. Yeah. If you give a contract to, to a person like in this manner, he he will he is bound to violate that. Look at the rates he is charging, one like thirty thousand per day, even for one banquet hall. These are the rates I have just taken down. And he's earning from the banquet yes, hall yes. as well. One like thirty thousand per day per, right. per banquet hall. All this there is stopped two. or not? It is completely sealed, fully stopped on 18th itself. It is now sealed, but even for five. Yeah, there has to be recovery from the pocket of the officials, not only the contractors. They must have all their, their shares. Crores, in crores. Everyone. Everyone is guilty. All, all stakeholders of that corporation, officers, and one and of them is an ex-employee of PMC. This is how oh, bound I, to be. I did not want to say this. Bound to be. And his leadership has rightly stopped me from pointing out any political party. Otherwise, how this subcontractor is chosen, he was rejected. No, no, don't. No, I'm not, no. Therefore, I'm not bringing them. Don't bring politics. It has brought these people. <laughs> Your leadership may keep it in short, shorter date so that if you want to bring any relationship about this contractor with the officials, you can bring it on record, but there we has to be an affidavit yes, yes, we will. to that effect. We will. Because that is a possibility. Yeah, then, then we will okay. we'll bring it. Favoritism to would your leadership give, give a shorter date? But not going beyond your limits. No, no. With concrete material, nothing more. Uh, let the record come. Two weeks. Let us see the record. Two weeks. Yeah, my instead of inviting affidavit to Whatever the Micus wants to bring it on record. You you are always there as an yes, intervener. We, we can't lose sight no. of him. I but let the everything he doesn't come. want to lose sight of me, he doesn't want to see me also. 
No, he no, wants don't to put say me that. behind a tree. No, I would like to see whether he controls the show plot while while sitting at the back. But show is controlled by the honorable court, and rightly, it has to be like that. No, no, don't take it that way. But. Like no, no, we if the truth keep, comes out, we should, keep the, to find out. we should keep the record straight. Whatever yes. material you are having, you can pass on to the amicus and you can bring it on record. I will have to think twice for that suggestion. Otherwise, I would rather give it to those parents through whom it can be placed out there joint. I have little. I don't want to say anything. They should have done so much, th so many things by now, which they have not done. So I don't want to say anything. My Lord has chosen them, so I have nothing to. I, I don't want to say anything. Having much. Said, he doesn't want to say. Yes, I don't want to say it in black and white right now. Time will come for that also. Where are you making requests? In which matter? This. He is for the for newly completed part. For? For the completed For kin of victims. For yes. The of the victim. Yes. What is your difficulty? My appearance may be uh, accepted by the department so that I may be passed. Uh -huh. We have not permitted anyone to. Your ladyship has permitted. You have permitted. Then the, you have to show our order. Why would the department we'll help refuse? We will help you. I have to. If there is an order. Will I? Then you can put there is an order, place. and I will just point it out to the register. Would your ladyship keep it up to two weeks so that something can? Yes, bring the record in the next week. We we are keeping this matter on twenty fifth. Deeply great. Supplementary course number one. Aditya. In this matter, Honorable Court wanted to see the papers of previous round of litigation. Because this is a matter pertaining to the applicant seeking the directions. And also here, the condonation of delay application, Lord, on the ground of a delay and broad uh, uh, under section 28A that came to be rejected. If Honorable Court may recall, uh, the application is at page number 12. Lord, uh, 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 in a moment. Page number 11, Lord. Page number 11. Yes, my 28A be decided, citing delay 28A. Previous 
application even the date please Please, please let me further. let me complete. In the red petition, you have not even given the date. When you were granted time, then you file affidavit, right? Affidavit. Not a single sentence in the petition as to what have you done after filing of the application. What was the date when application was filed? No, sir. The date on which the application was filed. Further affidavit in further affidavit. My father, you have given the date, yes, that is 7 3 2022. That's all right. From 7 3 2022, what you have you done? Have you ever checked about the pendency of the section 28 application? The entire repetition is silent, correct? So you are responsible for this position, and then, okay. then you cannot argue that you were not aware of the. Uh, most disposal of the section 28 I can, RPA I can application. Point out one important aspect, Lord, it was only upon filing of this previous round of petition. Having heard land counsel for the petitioner, petitioner just one submission. Petitioner is correct and produced a record, comma, noticing that in the previous red petition, namely special civil application number 13312 of 2023, comma, by means of an additional affidavit. Comma, though it has been brought on record that the application under Section 28A of the Land Acquisition Act 1884 was filed, 1894 was filed on 7 3 2022 before the competent authority in terms of to seek, to seek benefits of. Reference court award dated 2 12 2018, comma, but there is complete silence as to what was done thereafter. First stop. If I can, there is nothing on there, there is no whisper in the previous repetition about the delay in filing the application under section 28A, nor the reason for pendency thereof. First up, on the presentation of the red petition with the sole prayer to issue mandamus commanding the respondent to decide the pending application. Comma, the copy of the order dated 2010-2022 or disposal of the application under section 28A capital A was brought on record by the respondents, namely the office of the special land acquisition officer appeared through the learned assistant government leader. First off, on filing of the said order, on the presentation of the said order, comma, on the request made by land council for the petition, comma, the petition was, the red petition was the red petition was, the previous red petition was permitted to be withdrawn, giving liberty to the petitioner to challenge the order of rejection of application under Section 28A. First of parachains in the instant red petition, comma, the challenges to the order of dismissal of application under Section 28A dated. 2010-2022 on the ground of delay. First off, on a query made by the court. Nay, nee, on a query, Kadi. It is sought to be stated in paragraph 2. Point, it is stated, Kadi. It is stated in, par, in the writ petition that the petitioner was under the bona fide belief that the application under section 28 capital A was not decided. And therefore, in the and therefore the previous repetition was filed, namely previous repetition, namely special CA number one three three one two of twenty twenty three was filed, seeking for a direction to the respondent authorities to decide the representation of the petitions. Post up. 
parachains okay having noted the averments made in the previous repetition comma the record of which has been placed before us under the order dated 4 under the order cut placed before us comma as also the averments made in the instant petition comma we are of the considered view that there is no explanation on the part of the petition as to the delay in filing the application under section 28 capital a of the act 1894 first of there is also first of all there is also cut the explanation submitted by the petitioner for the latches in filing the petition challenging the order of rejection dated 2010 2022 comma is also not acceptable comma in as much as it is evident that after instant filing of the application the petitioner himself has has slept over the matter first of a litigant who is not vigilant about the outcome of the proceedings instituted by him before any competent authority or a court of law cannot seek indulgence on the premise that he was carrying under a bona fide impression that the proceedings was pending first of parachins we are apart from the set Leadership side apart from the aforesaid comma no other explanation is forthcoming we do not find first of all we do not find any error in the decision of the competent authority in rejection of application under section 28a comma which has been filed after a period of approximately kitna 18 to 22 approximately 2 years and the latches hmm. we ha huh, and and for the latches on the part of the petition in filing the instant petition challenging the order dated 2010-2022 first of we may further record that in spite of the knowledge of the order it may not occur it may not be out of place to mention here that in spite of the knowledge of the order dated 2010 2022 in the previous round of petition round of litigation instituted by the petition comma the permission granted by us to withdraw the said writ petition with liberty to challenge the order of rejection comma the instant petition has been filed after a period of four for approximately 4 months months for which no explanation is forthcoming first of all why did the explanation the explanation in paragraph 2.13 of uh, the instant petition is not convincing the present petition seeking to challenge likhega for the afford set comma we do not find any error in the we do not find any case for interference first up the reliance placed on the decision of the apex court in so and so is of no benefit to the petition comma in as much as the delay condoned by the apex court in the set case was on was with the observations that that the limitation prescribed for initiation of action can be extended in appropriate cases first of 
the present case, the instant case, where the petitioner, after filing of the application under Section 28A, has not pursued the same with due diligence, comma, the ratio of the said decision of the FX code cannot be of any benefit to the, cannot be applied. For the aforesaid comma, the present petition is dismissed, being devoid of merits. Relationships, I have one prayer in court, speaks to the court. Only when I file the petition, just, just Mr. one Mr. Council, we understand, with the government see, law. Mr. Council, we understand why you file that petition. No, that is we, we are starting. We are, are over no, we are starting from that day. But the first you, petition you was filed. May inquire with first, them when did they communicate petition, about the passage of? No, Mr. Council. First petition was filed by you only to buy time. Petition that we understand. The over reading of my. No, petition. sorry. Why would we do that? To produce when they why, why, would, this order. why would we do it was that? Placed on record okay, by all right. All right. We have given reasons. For not Under accepting your argument. is not inclined. Ultimately, it is up to the court. We have given reasons for not accepting yes. your arguments. Let me see. My point. Hmm. fix matters in the 82. Fourteen percent, Sanjay Hiralal Shah, Miss Khyati Chuk. Why is this listed for peremptory? Is there any order? Then why at two thirty? Two thirty the orders to bina order ke to aayenge ni cases. This order does not reflect to be taken up at 2.30. So, so even priority, no. Uh, nay, my order should reflect that this matter is to be taken up at 2.30. You have to tell them, otherwise they cannot show it at 2.30. The order does not say so. Then, so have you feed it in the how they mention it 2.30? Have you feed it in the... No. no, please don't do that. Otherwise, it will be accumulating so many cases which we are otherwise not fixed. You can fix the date only, but not the time. Okay. You can fix any other date. This was only on the mention. There was no order. First of Put up, Karim. Put up on date. This was wrongly shown as priority matter. First May. Number 83. Mr. Deepen Desai. Leonard Advocate General, Vikram AGP. Mr. P.S. Patel, Leonard Senior Advocate. Mr. Chirag. Mr. Tarak Damani. I appear for the bucket committee. The respondents in PA and Mahat. Respondent number three, Mahat. Led to the interim order passed by these honorable court, Mahat. The market committee has filed special petition before the honorable Supreme Court, Mahat. It was listed before the honorable first court. But could and it is again coming up for hearing on 19th April. Mm -hmm. So, so I would pray to your lordship. So there is no order. There is no order. It, no, it there is, is no only... order, Malad. It is being pointed out to your lordships that as far as the order of interim order of your lordship is concerned, hmm. it is subject matter of challenge before okay. the honorable Supreme Court. Okay. On a particular date, the matter could not be taken up by the honorable. So it, it is only a date fixed. Nothing That's is no, done. It is uh, no you order are, is you passed. You are representing. But the honorable, uh, it was listed before. You are honorable. representing. I re represent Agriculture Produce Market Committee Surat. Okay. Which is respondent number three in okay. the PIA. Okay. 
with my learned friend mr nikunt rao okay so will you will not comply with our order of filing affidavit of the de director no no i will comply so then you please take your seat we are not asking you to do anything please sir Page 961. We are supposed to do three things, my lord. Right. My lord, to inspect the Kushi Bazaar, find out which are the activities which are not related to my lord uh, under the Act, mm. uh, and see that my lord uh, activities are stopped. Mm. Number two, we were supposed to taking the possession of that hotel, mm. and number three, my lord, we are supposed to give the notice under Section 44. Mm. So far as the first part is concerned, Kushi Bazaar. So page nine sixty one may kindly be seen. So we carried out the inspection. Of course, there was lot of commotion and ruckus, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Page nine sixty one. Affidavit starts. I may request my lords to go to page nine sixty two. I am sorry, my lords, it has become very bulky. Different volume. Different volume. Yeah, ha. Ah, lagi hai. Yes. So, para three, my lord, page nine sixty two. So this mm. is about that Kushi Bazaar, my lord. Uh, we have inspected floor wise nine floors, ground plus nine. So the majority of the activities are not related to my lord provisions under the Marketing Act. Mm. We have given floor wise, mm. like small open three on the first floor. There are in all twenty seven shops, and all of them have been put on rent, wherein the activities being carried on are not related to the provisions of Marketing Act. Similarly, second floor, sub para four, sub para five, so we have put on record the inspection report at page nine sixty five, and extra R one. So on the fifth floor below, we could find some activities relatable to farmers below, nine sixty three, small room one seven. Hmm. Lord, we have issued below. Orders to each of the shop owners to shut down their activities, bro. Page one zero five six. With a copy thereof, bro, to. The response number three, market committee below. Wherever we found that the shops are closed, we have affixed those notices on the front door of the. So, what is the specific instruction? I beg your pardon. What is the specific instruction? No instructions are below that uh, this is the order of the court, and you are not supposed to be carrying out these activities. You are to fourth will stop. Hmm. Okay. Not. No, another affidavit not should be can we find at page one zero six five. So paragraph two, 
at page 1065, we have referred to the notice having been given under section 44 to make an exhaustive inquiry into the office of the market committee of the Osquire Marketing Committee of the Respond number 3 APMC. Shoko's notice is dated 12th April 2024, which is produced on record at page 1070. It is addressed to whom? No, it is addressed to my lord. No, each of the members. Okay. So page 1070, hmm. this is Bible specimen, 1072, hmm. address to the concerned member. And you asked Bible. them to submit their response by 29-4, 2024. Yes, lordship. Right. Lordship. Correct. Then? Lord, uh, paragraph at page 1066. Hmm. That is with reference to the Lord. Cancellation of the list deed, which is produced at page 1073. You pass the order. The operating portion at is at page 1075. 1075. What is this? So we have cancelled the lease deed and may not be further you know, because one is to go before the lease of the land. Lordship. This is order passed by whom? Order passed on 4th April 2024. By whom? Well, by the director. Lease was granted by the director or the no, state it government? It was granted by the uh, response number 3 APMC, my lord, in favor of, okay. of the order. Okay. Hotel so that the, lease deed of to the private person is cancelled. Lodge. By the director. Lodge. That is para three. We have stated below. This is at page one zero double six. Hmm. Para four. With reference to without taking over the position of the hotel. Hmm. Okay. So the Honorable Court directed the secretary to get the needful done. Hmm. The secretary in turn authorized below the director below hmm. to take all the actions. Hmm. And the position has been taken below by carrying uh, executing a panchnama on 13th April 2024, which we can find at page 1083. Hmm. Hmm. Along with the photographs. Right. Hmm. Although para five below I I would be very candid and about that. So what happened, my lord? At the time of the first order about the measurement, Lord, there are different figures coming forth from the record. Hmm. So, if my lords recall, what I had stated was 14,000 square meters, yeah, square meters was acquired hmm. on which that hotel is coming up, hmm. has come up. Hmm. And 6,000 6, hmm. land purchased by them, but it is hmm. not so. Hmm. So, on scanning through the original record, section 4 notification about hmm. the entire land, which is about 20,061 square yards. If I may read para 5 at page 1067. Mm. Mm. Para 5 at page 1067. Mm. At this juncture, I say that in the earlier affidavit dated 25th January 24, filed on behalf of the respondent state, more particularly in para 3 thereof, it was mentioned that out of total parts of land in question, at visiting around 20,000 square meters. 14,000 square meters of land was acquired by the respondent state for the APMC and the remaining parcel of land at measuring 6,000 
has been owned by respondent of the APMC. In this behalf, I say that on further inquiry in the matter, I, it got transpired that at the relevant point of time, total land acquired by the respondent state for the market yard, respondent of three APMC was 20,061 square yards. That is 16,773.55 square meters and not 14,000 square meters. Out of this total land, a portion of portion of land entering 798 square yards has been sold by respondent number three APMC Surat in favor of the Surat Municipal Corporation. White sale date dated 16 March 64. So I don't know how and why. And thereby the remaining portion of land at measuring 19,263 square yards, that is 16,106.32 square meters, has remained in the possession of respondent number three. I further say that out of the said remaining portion of land at measuring 19,000 and all square yards, land at measuring 11,506 square yards appears to have been used for construction of the hotel in question, whereas the remainder land at measuring so and so square yards has been used for the construction of Kushi Bazaar. I respectfully say that unfortunately, different figures of measurement of land are available from the record of the caption proceedings, whereupon the first affidavit dated so and so was filed. However, on going through a very faint copy of section 4 notification, which is at page 970, issued for acquiring the land in question along with form C as available from the record from the of respondent number 3 APMC Surat, this came to be tra transpired for the first time about the opposite figure of measurement of the land in question acquired for the respondent number 3 APMC. I further say that copies of the above different documents as well as other documents have already been produced along with my earlier affidavit. It is 9th April 2024, which I had just read below. Mm -hmm. Essentially, file for putting on record the inspection report along with the action taken report as directed in para 50 of the order. Is so and so, I sincerely regret for the confusion caused because of the opposing inconsistencies. I further respectfully say that in order to be absolutely accurate, more particularly about the actual area of measurement of the land in question, the opponent hearing has already instructed deputy director so and so, so and so to get the whole land in question duly measured. So that you know, there is no scope for any confusion. Para 6 is about the communications below, which have been given to us. So, so far as these uh, letters written by you, uh, the instructions to, to the shopkeepers to close the shop. Some of them have stopped below. Some of them below are saying that we have gone to the Supreme Court. We will not do it. They are defying. So, that's the so, so whatever you want to do, do it. Lordship. Right. Now, with regard to right so that is one part you have to do whatever you are supposed to do then the second part is with regard to the proceedings under section 44 how much time do you need to conclude those proceedings the notice is issued by you. No, we will try to be there. Has to be a... by my uh, But on 29, the time is already there. Three months. No, three months time is granted for it. Okay. Right. So you conclude it. Right. You record that what is the position which has come come up on record. Yes, my lord. Direction is there to my lord complete within period of three months from the date of uploading of this order. So we will comply Correct. with that. And then for this panchnama and measurement, Logic. measurement part you complete also Correct. to relate to your record and the record of APMC also. You coordinate and complete, bring the complete report before okay. the court. In the meantime, if they get any order from the Apex school, that's then the that would be fine. Look here. Sir, if the honorable has permit me, there is one application that I have filed which is on board today for the shop owners, I mean the leaseholders of the shop, those private parties. 
against whom the action we are not concerned with that no no i you have filed right action. now we have not taken action against anyone they yeah. are doing it no the action is already taken by so them. so they so my request you have to challenge the no no my request is that i made an application for no. impeachment no no where is the question of impeachment i those shopkeepers are not before us. If any no, individual... I have made an application please, on their behalf. Please listen. If there is any action that is completely an independent cause of action, you have to challenge their action. But would your ladyship not even hear the shopkeepers? Uh, Why would we? We have not said anything. No, your ladyship... They have done. We have no, said... Fair we have said to carry out inspection. No, fair we have not See, we have not said that you carry out lease. You... Uh, you... Uh, cancel the lease or you stop them they are doing it we have only said that you make an inspection and submit the report only that's for, all only for a second if the honorable and whatever court. action they are doing you have to challenge that by bringing independent action on behalf of the shop owners Kindly see not now for... not today not today no sorry your ladyship may see para 50 of your ladyship's order sorry we have not said anything about the shopkeepers You'll kindly have paragraph 50 yes yes we have only said that inspection report along with the action taken report shall be required to be submitted that's all no thereafter page 44 ah, yes uh, paragraph 50 thereafter any such activity which is not in conformity with the object and the purpose of section 33 of the market act 1963 yes. if being carried out in the said shall, yes. shall be stopped immediately yes now therefore all that i am requesting today is that please join us as parties in this petition not so we are directly not. affected by this section not by them not. and pursuant to your leadership's order. You have no right to continue in the business. That's a different aspect. I'll satisfy the honorable court whether I have. We are right. not. Uh, we are not listening to any shopkeeper. We are only concerned with the property of the state being misutilized by the market committee. But if the shopkeepers, if you have property. any individual cause of action, bring your own action. No, that individual cause of action is pursuant to the order of the division bench. No. See, so far as the individual shop owners are concerned, we are not concerned with anyone. We are only concerned that the, the property, which is property of the market committee, which is put up on a state land, which is a statutory body, and sta once a statutory body acts, it, act, it has to act within the four corners of statute. So this Any is activity, property. please. Any activity of the statutory authority if beyond the four corners of that, that has to be stopped immediately. Now, if you have any independent cause of action, you bring your uh, no, action. My cause of action is pursuant to the orders of the... No, no, Mr. Counsel. But we are not see, expanding the scope of PIL. No, I'm not asking the Honorable Court to expand the scope of the PIL. Your leadership is concerned only with the property of the APMs. Ultimately, we are not concerned are, with you, and we are on the property. Of we you. are not concerned with you. You may go anywhere we, you want to go, but you are not is, concerned with that. But the honorable court's order says, Sorry, Mr. Counsel, kindly have a look no, at that. No, sorry, order. you have no right to continue in business I'm in a property. Saying, second, so then, then you may go. We are not concerned with the shopkeepers who are who are given lease illegally by the market committee. But We'll we are not deciding would your not, fate. Would we not be we are sorry. We are sorry. We are not deciding your fate. So would we not even be heard by the honorable? Sorry, court? Mr. Counsel. You have no right to be heard. Is it too much to ask for from the sorry. honorable court? You have no like, right to be heard. When your ladyship has directed an action against me. Sorry, Mr. Counsel. Very good. By order dated. In compliance, correct? In compliance of order at, at the outset, at the outset, when the matter was taken up today, comma, the order dated, it was correct, it was intimated to us that a special leave to appeal, bracket C number, bracket says 8250-8251-2024, slash Against the judgment and order dated 27 3 2024, passed by us in the instant PIL, has been filed by the Agricultural Produce Market Committee, Thomas Surat. 
and the order dated 10 4 2024 passed by the apex court has been placed before us comma which only records the next which records correct which records the next date fixed in the special leave petition as 19th april 2024 first off taking note of the above comma we may record that the action taken report on the order dated 27 3 2024 has been brought before brought in the instant petition with the along with the affidavit of the director Agricultural Marketing and Rural Finance, comma, Guj, uh, Government of Gujarat, Finance Kadu, comma, dated 9-4-2024 and 15 4 affidavits Kadu, and 15-4-2024. Post stop. Along with the affidavit dated 9 4 2024, it has been brought on record that in the inspection of the building, namely Krushi Bazaar, carried out by the carried out under the order dated 27 3 2024, it transpired that. Several shops on nine floor buildings, nine floor building have been let out for the activities which are either not related, which are correct, which are relate it which are in no way related to the provisions of Market Act 1963. First off, as per the inspection report, comma, the building named as Krushi Bazaar is having ground plus nine floors comprising of total area of 80,298.47 square feet comma out of which an area of nine comma six ninety seven point six two square feet has been occupied by the market committee whereas an area of sixty nine comma nine sixty eight point two six square feet has been put on rent comma an area of 632.29 square feet is unoccupied. Most of the, as per the details given in the inspection report, comma, the following condition, the following position can be discerned from the inspection report. The following facts, correct? have been emerged. Colon dash court, Roman small mm -hmm. 2, six, page 3, para 3, Roman 2 to Roman 11, page 962 and It is categorically stated in the affidavit of the director, come agriculture, marketing, and rural finance that all the concern occupiers of the aforesaid shops wherein activities are being carried on unrelated to the provisions of the Market Act 1963. Comma, have been asked to shut down their shops immediately. 
full stop out of total shops indicated of a comma 16 shops were found closed on the given on the day of inspection and the notice was pasted at the conspicuous place full stop along with the affidavit dated 15 4 2024 comma it has been brought on record that the show cause notice dated 12 4 2024 has been issued by the director invoking provisions of section 44 of the gujarat agricultural produce of the marketing act of the market act 1963 once uska complete name lik dijega initially and the proceed and the inquiry shall be completed within a period of three months as directed by this court so sub the lease date dated 9 10 20, 2013 executed in favor of private respondent number four by the market committee namely apmc comma surat has been cancelled and further steps are being have been taken to take possession of the building which was constructed and leased out to respond number four for running a five star hotel post of the punch nama dated 13 4 2024 has been prepared and a public notice has been affixed on the property in question. First of with regard to the further directions for auction of the building known as building constructed as five star hotel comma. It is contained in the parag in paragraph five of the affidavit of the director that there is some discrepancy in the measurement of the land comma which was acquired and handed over to the market committee initially for construction of market yard first up after perusal of the, the the statement made in the affidavit Dated 25-1-2024 was found to be discrepancy. A discrepancy was found in the affidavit in the statement made in the affidavit dated 25-1-2024 to the effect that a total area of 20,061 square yards was acquired by section four and six notifications for the purpose of market committee first stop out of the set acquired area comma the land at measuring 19 comma 263 square meter yards ie 16 comma 106.32 square meters remained in the possession of the market committee as a portion of the acquired land at measuring 798 square yards has been sold to the Surat Municipal Corporation by its sale date dated 16-3-1964. First off, it is thus sought to be submitted that on account of some confusion about the total acquired area and the documents being old and ineligible, comma, the inconsistency arose in the statement made in the affidavit dated 25-1-2024. First up, however, in order to bring the correct and complete picture before the court, comma, a direction has been issued to the Deputy Director, Agricultural Marketing and Finance, and the district registrar cooperative societies comma surat to conduct the measurement of the entire piece of land comma acquired for the purposes of apmc comma surat 
first of para chinchri taking note of the above steps take note of the steps taken by the director from agriculture marketing and rural finance comma we provide that the director agriculture marketing and rural finance shall complete shall bring career shall bring all actions initiated by him to their logical conclusion and submit a report before this court sorry put up this Good. Good. Is... put up this matter in the second week of july my civil application put up this matter in the second week of july for compliance for filing of the compliance affidavit by the director so and so first of all in so far as the civil application will be Likhega, a civil application likhega on the prayer made by Mr. Devin Desai. Deepen Desai, learn advocate appearing for the petitioners. Comma. Time is granted to file a reply. What?
chartered matters, serial number 114. Uh, Mr. Sandeep Punjai Sara, Mr. Shalin Mehta, Leonard, Senior Advocate, Mr. Heman Shah. Finish me not point number one, Hans. Sufficient uh, one about stigma. Yeah. The first point, whether the order at page 19 attaches stigma, that I've answered. Our submission is not just a uh, one para summary. That merely by mentioning the words unsuitability or that performance is not up to the mark in the order of termination doesn't attach stigma. As has been laid down by the Supreme Court in nothing less than three or four decisions, which had similar facts, and some of them may not involve judicial officer. Second submission, not just a, a a part of if you call it a part of the first one, that then how do you draw the line? The court has asked me, how do you draw the line? There may not have shown to the court not that uh, the judgments uh, talk about the theory of motive and foundation. And for establishing foundation, if the order is founded, on misconduct or not, it is stigmatic. If the order is not founded on misconduct, but 
Mis if misconduct is a mere motive, you know, it doesn't become it doesn't become stigmatic. Now, where the Supreme Court a number of decisions has one of the first one which says that when does it constitute foundation for that three conditions are mentioned that there is a departmental inquiry initiated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes. Sir. Correct. Yes. Sir. And one more, uh, Sangat, HF Sangat, 2001, DNCC page 117. Two thousand one, then ten two, and this is ten twelve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ten twelve, two thousand one nine, two thousand ten two, and two thousand one three. Correct. So two of two thousand one and two of two thousand ten. Yes. Yes, sir. There also there are some uh, in one of the judgments which I cited, the Supreme Court given out the test. Motive foundation. Now that is answered for the Supreme Court in this 2010 12 SEC page 783. Correct. So three conditions are mentioned, you know, starting from uh, way back in Pavanandra Sharma, uh, Varma. Correct. Yes. Correct. So for that, uh, Supreme Court says that it's a judicially evolved test. Yes. Correct. Unless you know, the order is ex facie, ex facie stigmatic. So this uh, this inquiry is only to be made in a case where. If you come to this, this matter, yes, then you come to the second step of lifting the book. Correct, exactly. exactly. So, there will not the para 19 of this 2010, uh, 2010 12 SEC page 783, uh, Rajesh Kohli. That referring to Pavanendra Verma says that how do you find out it's a judicially evolved test? And these three conditions are if all the, the Supreme Court says if all the three factors are present, para 19. Sorry. Yes. But it's in Rajesh Kohli. It's a 2010 when we see page 780. Uh, exactly, para 19. One of the judicially evolved tests to determine whether in substance and order of termination is punitive is to see whether prior to the termination there was one, a full scale formal inquiry, B, into allegations involving moral turpitude of misconduct, which C, culminated in a finding of guilt. If all the three factors are present, the termination order has been held to be punitive irrespective of the form of the termination order. So even if it's, a, if it's an innocent order, the court can lift the veil. And the court has to see whether all these three factors are satisfied. If all the three factors are satisfied, then the court will. So here, our submission is not that all the, the Supreme Court says, since it's a judicial evolved test, all the three factors are present. Here, the Lord, factor number three is not present because the departmental inquiry has not yet culminated in a finding of guilt.
Yes. Yes, in 2016. No. There is no finding. No. So there is no finding of guilt as of now. And since without my submission, since it's a judicially evolved test, and the Supreme Court says since because Parmendra Verma is of 2002, one SEC page 5, 520, so it is followed subsequently in not one, not only this, not but the several decisions. So the test remains the same. The test has not changed. If the test remains the same, not then the Supreme Court says all the three, all the three means all the three. You can't say no, two are there, but one need not be there. Not. Supreme Court says all the three. If the Supreme Court had not used the word, if all the three factors are not there, fair. You, but they could have argued that anyone is there, but Supreme Court is clear if all the three. Then we got third is uh, an issue about deem confirmation, confirmation. There our submission is not that Apart from, I actually I did not cite Supreme Court decisions because according to me, the rule is very clear. And the rule does not... Yes, not complete. Not unless the court has some query for me. If I'm... Yes. Yes. Foundation. For uh, passing this over. Yes, sir. We not, probably we not what uh, we not why the Supreme Court says it can't be foundation because something more over on I not, one can only venture Bilal, because we don't really know that Supreme Court has not mentioned that why why we are saying that all the three uh, I you know I can only venture Bilal, it appears not uh, appealing to reason that there if there is no finding of guilt then it's merely in the mind because you, then there is no uh, because then there is no proof that whether he is guilty or is not. Hmm. Now, once you are sure, once there is a finding of guilt, you are absolutely sure that yes, now there is a finding and therefore not, it would be a foundation because now you are, you have the basis to say that you are guilty. But if you don't have a finding of guilt, you know, it is, it's again, you know, it's like a pending trial because like a, an accused, an accused, though he's an accused, you know, he is still innocent till he's proven guilty. Therefore, it all remains in the mind, in the realm of conjecture, I would say. That is probably why the Supreme Court says it's a motive. It's a mere motive. But if it's a motive, you know, then it, it doesn't, it, it's not stigmatic. Uh, Third, my learned friend's argument was not about uh, confirmation. Lord. His argument appears to be that uh, the rule is clear. The rule says two years probation. Additional two years can be added. No more than two years. No more than two years extension, which means no more than four years. Since here we are beyond four years, you have to confirm. My submission is not that uh, the rule. Now, at least one thing is very clear not, because this area was also not uh, uh, not very. Uh, not Supreme Court, there were judgments this side, that side. But Supreme Court has now provided clarity as far as this aspect is concerned that if the rule mentions about deemed confirmation, then only will there be deemed confirmation. Otherwise, by implication, no one should be allowed to... Argue or if the case. rule is silent also. Sorry? Exactly. If the rule is silent if the rule in is both silent, the yes. conditions. Yes. It, if so, there is a deemed confirmation or rule is completely silent yeah. as to how the confirmation yes. would be made. Yes. Exactly. Then it is deemed confirmation. Yes. Yes. That much is clear. Now, therefore, if we read the rule year 14, 14 is absolutely clear, especially sub-rule 5. 
that there has to be a specific order confirming you without which there is no question of team confirmation. There is no question of confirmation. And actually, uh, the rule has, the rule could have stopped after the first line, but again, it, it appears that there is emphasis in the second line. So the first line is, not, a person shall not be considered to have satisfactorily completed the period of probation or officiation, as the case may be, unless a specific order to the effect is passed. Any delay in passing such order, second line, shall not entitle the person to be deemed to have satisfactorily completed the period of propitiation or probation as the case may be. So double check. You want to emphasize that, look, we don't have this concept of deemed confirmation. If there is a specific order, he will pass that order. Specific order, confirm. But if there is no order, and in this case, as in this case, there is delay. Let's say we are delay for three, four years. Not, then also you will not be allowed to argue that there is deemed confirmation. I mean, my submission is not that unless this rule is set aside, rule is by reason of the rule is challenged, but not unless this rule is set aside, uh, you know, it can't be argued by anyone that, well, uh, you took six years, seven years, eight years, you know, and therefore now you're stopped from contending that I'm not liable to be confirmed and you to confirm. There is no estoppel by conduct. In any case, when there is the when the law is clear, when the law is clear, there is no question of applying estoppel by conduct. Even if let's say the high court uh, was lax in this case, or may not uh, for reasons, for reasons we it played on, and we could not we were may not uh, the I, I would say not in this case we not we were in, let's say that the high court was in a quandary, was in a dilemma. What do you do in this case? Then also that dilemma is no ground for you to argue that. By conduct, you have delayed and therefore now you confirm. The rule is clear that even if there is delay, we have to pass a specific order. In this case, there is no order. Allowed. Therefore, there is no question of applying the, deemed, the concept of deemed. That's my That's my absolute submission as far as the third point is concerned. And again, Milot, I would say that if the statistics of uh, uh, this this assessment is seen. You know, I, you know, I don't think uh, uh, we fall in any kind of pattern. I, I, could, I can still understand you know, that the high court has a pattern. Let's say that uh, every time there is a delay. No, this is a stray case. This is a stray case where uh, for reasons, uh, and I'll, I'll, I, I have, you know, according to us, you know, we, there are reasons also, you know, good, genuine reasons why we could not decide this issue uh, uh, swiftly or you know, timely. But here, we not, this is a stray case where this has happened. So, therefore, we not, no intention or motive can be attributed to the High Court in a case of this kind that we allowed her to believe, we allowed the petitioner to believe or give her some kind of promise by our conduct or representation that you will be confirmed and you are not confirmed. That's my submission. That, that is what I would argue not, as far as this is concerned. Not that we not, in fact, not, not that it matters because in a case of this kind, uh, when it is about a judicial officer, you know, it doesn't really matter you know, because they, 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 they can't be, you know, there can't be any uh, estoppel by conduct or any promise. The fourth and a slightly difficult question you know, that the court had for me, the court had asked, is Why, why was the probation continued for so long? And especially when uh, the assessment of disposal of the petitioner is good or outstanding or excellent. Then why this termination? There, uh, you know, I would preface my submission with this answer. Will not assessment of sorry, disposal of cases is certainly a relevant factor which has to be taken into account when we assess 
judicial officers. But you know, my submission is not that that can't be the only factor. Therefore, you know, suppose, suppose we have suppose you know, we have a learned judge who is super fast. But you know, there are other qualities. Uh, camaraderie with I, 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 you know, I'll give the list you know, because the confidential report has, the, has that entire laundry list of the qualities or attributes which a person has to uh, you know, there'll be assessment on that. Now, in that list, it's relations with camaraderie with colleagues, uh, several I mentioned, you know, probity, behavior, you know, in that long laundry list, if one is very good, but the others are not that, then you know, this can't really tilt only because the disposal is fantastic. Because otherwise, you know, this would actually you know, we would be guilty of not assessing the other factors, which are equally important, I would say. And therefore, you know, for that, I, I, I would request the court to see you know, that, that list, which is you know, after page. I've given a whole chart, a long chart, you know, 362. Now, please see, you know, because this is with the code also, you know, if I'm an unattended also produced, you know, but. Does the code have uh, any page after, you know, 361 is not paginated. There is a. There is one. 362, you know, ah, exactly, exactly. Now there, you know, please see, this is, it's a form only, you know, so this is a question of, you know, uh, any exaggeration. Confidential reporting form number four. What is this form for? Is there any form for confidential report? Yes, yes. Yes. You know, I have yes. Any okay. form is prescribed. Yes, sir. There is a this is a this is the form. It's given in the seal cover, but this is a form that we have to follow. Okay. So this ACR yes. which is given in this form, yes, which is prescribed for man. Exactly. Right. Exactly. The cumulative ACR for yes. the period Correct. Correct. is compiled in yes. this chart. Exactly. exactly. Okay. All right. Now there, please see, Milot, integrity is topmost. It has to be. So characteristics, integrity, then personal characteristics, personality, general knowledge, clarity of thoughts and expression in correspondence and discussion, initiative, tactfulness, diligence, industry, politeness, courtesy, relations with colleagues. Then the district judge's assessment of the civil judge regarding his, her, knowledge of law and procedure, willingness to acquire knowledge of law and procedure, quality of judgments, judicial qualities, Administrative capacity, knowledge of administrative work in uh, office routine, knowledge of the civil manual, criminal manual, and accounts code, including all kinds of accounts maintained in the civil criminal courts. Now, eight, what is excellent about um, uh, the petitioner, dispatch of work disposals, attitude towards the public and the bar, any other remarks. So there are, it is a comprehensive form. I mean, we do agree that uh, her, her disposal rate can be excellent. But if the court sees may not the other attributes, general knowledge needs improvement, clarity of thoughts and expression needs improvement, much improvement, sorry. Tactfulness needs much improvement. Diligence industry needs improvement. Politeness and courtesy needs much improvement. Have you given any breakup of the disposal made by her? Uh, yes. Uh, the nature of cases decided. No, no matter that. That breakup, I mean, she was posted in Savli. In, yes. Savli, Tessie. In uh, Savli. So hmm. Savli. Hmm. We can try to get that. 
We have different criteria of assessment. So the number numbers do not matter. You know, obviously, the quality also is very, very important because you know you can't sacrifice quality numbers. Because if the cases are less, we give fifty percent extra, so you get excellent. But that excellent and fair and. Yes. But if the you know here again, you know no comments as such, but this is. I mean, this is the high court's assessment. Uh, uh, sorry, the the uh, and then uh, three. She was assessed by four district judges. Yes, and yes. there is almost consistency. Yes. Yes, Mr. And again, Mr. I'm again, Mr. I'm not belittling uh, anyone's. But why did you allow her to continue despite of this? Once the district judge says that she is not fit. You have no answer to that. No, 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 from the high court, not, I don't have really any answer. Not, uh, I can only guess not, it appears. Uh, now, yes, I can. I can Now, please see. Uh, I don't want to say something in just thin air. Not, please come to page 272. Why this could be the reason. This could be the reason why. Please see page 272 where. Lot of things were pending against her. It appears now. If this this will give a very very clear idea that because uh, the last column is assessment of disposals, which as I said, is uh, initially it was not assessed adequate, but then it's all very good, excellent, outstanding. And then twenty twenty one also when September was poor, but fair. I I, I agree that it, it's outstanding. But if the court sees without the grading and adverse remarks. If any communicated to the office, that obviously is there in the chart which I showed at page. But important is the third column: vigilance complaints, departmental inquiry, judicial observation. Now this is important. This entire two seventy two, two seventy two. This column twenty twenty one two seventy two. This column two seventy four, two seventy five, two seventy six, two seventy seven, through two seventy eight. First this, report is of which year? Uh, two thousand fourteen to see, uh, fifteen. No. It's mentioned the period the is mentioned 212. Report 2014. is 26 to 2016. Well, the court has 270, 272. Page 272. The first column, administrative complaint, the third column. Exactly, exactly. Yes. First one is principal district judge report 26 yes. to 2016. Exactly. Now, please. See. And this was in continuation report. 2 3 2016, where yes. there were allegations. Yes. Misappropriation of government money, irregularities and illegalities by uh, irregularities of the other judge, evasion from. Judicial what is this PI report? Preliminary inquiry. Yes. Right. So, on the recommendation of the administrative judge to initiate a regular inquiry, it was instituted. Yes. Subsequently, it is ordered. Meeting by was 29-9-2016. Now, there, item two. Hmm. 
application dated 27 5 2019 and affidavit dated 6 8 2019 of Mr. Nitin Pasabi Patel Mesana in connection with harassing the applicant and his family members, threatening the applicant to implicate in false cases, frequently asking the applicant to divorce his wife and marry her. So this has no connection with her work as such actually, but, but about you, but about no, no. who means for a judicial officer, this matters. Yes, sir. This may not matter for an ordinary uh, right. government servant. Right. So, but this for has judicial a officer, probity, personal probity conduct integrity. also. Huh? Yes, you are threatening someone who has to file an affidavit and a complaint that uh, divorce my wife and you marry me. But on this, she says that she was not granted any opportunity. This report was never supplied. It is Though preliminary that... preliminary yes. inquiry was initiated. Yes, 4-9-2019. Yes. Accordingly, by the endorsement, the so-and-so the matter has been forwarded to the vigilance for taking necessary action in the matter. What happened to this preliminary inquiry? It is pending. Preliminary inquiry was not concluded. Four nine two thousand nineteen. No, but the the it appears that the preliminary inquiry initiated so and so. Initiated. So, yes, it initiated on the on allegations. The matter, but but what it. happened to this preliminary yeah. inquiry? Yeah, we'll check. It's kept pending, guy. Uh, as I understand, but we we'll check. Check. we'll double check. We'll double check. Hmm, check what happened. Yes. Now, item three. Because when we are lifting the veil, we can see everything. Right. Next. Application dated 9-3-2020 of uh, Mahendra Bagadia, Superintendent Police, Surendranagar, making allegations against Ranak Judge, Ms. Panchani, connection with the uh, making complaint against Nitin Patel with malice, intention, frequently calling investigating officer, deputy so and so, and the applicant personally and telephonically asking to collect evidence against the accused Nitin Patel by hook or crook and thereby interfering with the investigation procedure showing animosity towards the investigating. So this is related to that preliminary that, inquiry. That very exact. The that first that yes. second complaint. Yes. What happened on this? This also was mentioned. Status submission is under process. So all pending it appears. Then please see confidential letters four in twenty twenty. Of the PDJ. Yes. Forwarding, forwarding the confidential letter of third ADJ. Yes. Regarding the conduct of Lonek Judge, Ms. Panchal, with regard to non compliance of the orders passed by third edition session, Judge Limbidi in criminal revision application number so and so, dated so and so, criminal revision application number so and so, dated so and so, respectively, and confidential letters dated 18 6 2020 of principal district Judge Surendranagar, forwarding there with confidential letter number so and so, dated 12 6 2020 of the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Rajkot, and confidential letter number so and so, <coughs> police along with the enclosure. Submission is under process. And then obviously the departmental inquiry, which is pending, not culminated. Then there was a committee constituted. Yes. And then give a report. Three judges committee yes. was constituted. Yes, yes. Two judges. Two judges. Eight to 2021. 20, yes. Inquiry report was submitted. Yes. In the departmental inquiry. Correct. <laughs> this was the first departmental inquiry. Yes, the only. 21 12 2020. Yes. And charge numbers 1 to 6 were proved. Yes. So on this report, a disciplinary committee was constituted. Correct. And that report of the disciplinary committee one. 
2021 was considered yes in the meeting of the standing committee 422022 yes and this report was accepted no in her so in case of mr pb patel accepted it is further resolved that the report in respect of panchal is panchal then so and so be referred Ajay, that was against another judge yes two judges mr hmm. pb patel he, he was exonerated hmm? mr pb patel was exonerated upon hmm. the charges this venture hmm. but as far as miss panchal is concerned deferred No, it is resolved that the report so and so so and so in departmental inquiry initiated against so and so and Mr. Miss so and so Panchal yes be accepted in so far as P B Patel is ah. concerned. Then further, it is further the report in report. respect of so and so be deferred. It is further resolved that in view of the report having been accepted, take further steps. This is about P B Patel. Yes. Then what happened? So no no decision is taken. So this. inquiry report was very much there. Ah, inquiry report is there, but no finding of guilt. No, not again. Inquiry report uh, only mentions about whether charges are proved or not. Then as for the service rules, it goes to the DA, disciplinary authority. He will disciplinary give a show cause. Disciplinary authority did not record any oh, finding nothing. of No, 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 because he will give a show cause. Hmm. He will have a chance to submit. To that inquiry report that is the inquiry report is only recommendation yes exactly so even after submission of the departmental yes. inquiry report yes ma inquiry report of the inquiry officer yes in the departmental inquiry is it open for the employee to defer yes. and not to take any proceed further yes ma at that, stop at that stop stage at that. and uh, then proceed yes. where that, is that no, that there is one. I, I don't have it. There is one judgment of the Supreme Court which mm -hmm. uh, took this view that you can even abandon. You can even it is fair, but you can even abandon and then uh, say that uh, fine. Now I, I want to get rid of your services because. Uh, uh, the, but in any case, not we'll get that. But here I am relying on the judicially evolved test. I am on that. The court. Because now, since the court has chosen to lift the bail, not we are concerned with the test. And the test mentions that there is a there should be a finding of guilt. Where is the finding of guilt in the department? There is no finding of guilt. Right? The findings in the inquiry report are not finding of guilt. Yes. They are only recommendation. Correct. And there's a disciplinary authority in case has decided to, could have disciplinary authority, could have agreed with the report or disagreed. Disagree. Accept or reject. Correct. Now, if the disciplinary authority decided not to proceed further, to defer. Correct. In case disciplinary authority decided to go ahead, the requirement was to put notice to the delinquent, provide the copy of the inquiry report and call for her comments. Exactly. And after consideration of her comments, there could be a finding of guilt. guilt. 
and then the only option was to punish, punish. under the rules. Exactly. Correct. Exactly. Now, in this case, the inquiry report was there. On the inquiry report, another judge inquiry committee was constituted. They said, I, we agree with the inquiry report. But still, the standing committee, which was the decision-making authority yes. or the uh, disciplinary authority DA, exactly. in terms of uh, for the judicial officers, Correct. that standing committee did deferred. not take any decision. They have deferred. deferred. But so but this would thing. not be the foundation. Found, this would not be the foundation. finding of guilt. Correct. This can't be. You know, you know, that uh, I can cite judgments because guilt is established. You know, just as just as Supreme Court says that the departmental inquiry starts not by a show cause but by issuance of a charge. Suppose right. you know, I'm show caused. I'm show right. caused. Reply is fine. You know, I can't come to the court and say that quash this charge. Quash this departmental inquiry because actually Supreme Court says that it doesn't, that it starts only with the issuance of a charge. Right. Now, also, uh, cumulative. The departmental inquiry ends only with in a the finding of case finding only of when there is a penalty order. Right. No, it, it concludes with the finding of case. Exactly. You know, in fact, you know, Punishment is uh, subsequent. In fact, you know, I, I, you know, you know, suppose, you know, suppose, suppose you know, the, the standing committee gave a Hearing to the petitioner after which a decision is taken, a penalty order is issued. Minot. That would have been the you know, that would have been the end of the matter there only. Minot. Hmm. A penalty order would have straight away resulted in a dismissal. Minot. So, in fact, this order was not required. No, this order was not required. Another aspect. The submission is Minot, that there is no finding of guilt as on date because the, the whole procedure is deferred. Hmm. Now, you know, it can't be your argument that why have you deferred it? Hmm. Because if all the charges are proved and actually, you know, this is something, actually, you know, what, what she has gotten, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not saying, yes, there is a termination, but just see a dismissal will, a dismissal is worse than a termination simply cited because a dismissal uh, has a lot of you know, it, it entails complete forfeiture of uh, your all all retirement, all benefits. Also, it's a disqualification for further employment. So, an argument can't yeah, be. Yeah, there is no question of benefit because she was on probation. Correct, exactly. But disqualification is there. Yes. For future employment. No, but I don't think that here, this 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 will not be because it's a termination simplest. No. Had had it been the dismissal. Oh, yes. Then oh, disqualification yes, would Absolutely. have been there. Absolutely. Though she she was on probation, she was never confirmed. Absolutely. So in that case, she was not entitled exactly. for any other service benefits. No, nothing. But at least this part of disqualification attached no. to the order of termination. That is why. That's what I'm saying a lot. That, that is why probably the High Court has deferred that, not entered into that arena, not issued a penalty order, and done... A lesser evil, I would say. If... Because she was a probationer. Exactly. Otherwise, had she been a confirmed employee, there was no option. No option. But to dismiss. Exactly. That did not have to 311. Uh, two. That I have to. So, out of two necessary evils, the High Court has chosen the, the lesser, lesser one. one. The lesser one. And you know, I would say further below because uh, the, the sealed cover. Hmm. I mean, I, I, I would also you know, request that uh, since this concerns judicial officers, you know, and the highest level of integrity is expected from all. My submission to the court is that independently of this, you know, the other material which has come on record in the sealed cover you know, shows that there is a there is recently an FIR file against uh, her. The judicial officer may not wear. She had to apply for anticipatory bail. Now, may not, again, may not, I am not trying to prejudice the court. I am all I am saying is may not that uh, the court will not come across a lot of cases where judicial officers may not have to apply for anticipatory bail. 
and the charges which were proved in the inquiry report, one of the charge was of misappropriation of money. No, also not signatures, you know, the, uh, those... Uh, the first inquiry which was held... The charges are... Misappropriation of government money, irregularities, illegalities... Yes. Evasion from duty by... But charges were proved. Yes, ma'am. So it was easy for the High Court to dismiss her exactly. by recording a finding of guilt Correct. because the inquiry report was very much there. Yes, very much there. It is not a case even where inquiry was not concluded or charges were not proved. True. Charges were proved. True. So despite the fact that the charges were proved True. and the two judges committee uh, decided and gave a report that there was no infirmity in the inquiry report. Inquiry report was justified. Yes. Evidence was yes. evaluated. Yes. Despite that. Despite that. The High Court has so chosen the, the lesser yes, uh, punishment. Yes, so the punishment, uh, can't say punishment, lesser. S simpliciter. There is no punishment. Simpliciter. Punishment. This, this is no disqualification. Simpliciter. Simpliciter. Seeing that she was on probation. Yes, ma'am. And was not confirmed. Correct. So she may not be deprived of taking any future employment. Future career, exactly. The future, her future career is not put into jeopardy. And obviously, you know, lastly, the, the argument obviously can't be you know, that for... Inquiry report is on record. It is in the papers, in the record, in the sealed cover. We don't, you know, we have not placed, uh, if required, we will place it on record. No, no, not to be placed. In a probation matter, you were not supposed to place it. That's what... Otherwise, I, it I would be stigmatic. Uh, Mr. Shah immediately said that, no, we can't place it. <laughs> He's yeah, right. Yes. Otherwise, if the those records are produced, then it would be stigmatic. <laughs> but you know, I will only end by saying you know, that. Uh, what is your statement in the counter affidavit? Counter, we have only said two things about that. Uh, so you continue and finish it tomorrow. Very and please bring that judgment any, very well Milot, that if, judgment uh, there is uh, that, i remember Amanda, there is one well. judgment yes sir i, I know uh, of uh, disciplinary inquiry Milot, i i recently lost a matter where it was cited by the opposite party so <laughs> it's fresh in my mind i will get it Milot, uh, tomorrow is difficult to request next we want to conclude I, it tomorrow because of your worship direction before London District Court, I would have to go there. The tagging matter to decide within six weeks. Which matter? Your worship was kind enough to tag two matters before on twenty. So we are we are taking up this matter after four o'clock. No, my lord, but I am exhausted. Otherwise, I would not have. Requested. Otherwise, only one day. Then and day after tomorrow would please. be holiday. That is the only difficulty. I am what I'll be here whenever sixteenth, eighteenth, whenever. I am okay tomorrow also. And 18, may I request? Otherwise, I never request it for any date. Okay, that is not an issue. Please. So, that's why I am I'm requesting for 18. On 18, that four. Please, oblige me. Bring that far. Yes, Mr. Right. Petition. And they, they were the extra purpose of the same yes. judgment. Um, some of the copies were extra for one uh, and, and Milot, sir, there are duplication of pages may i have liberty to correct that page uh, which uh, in the matter uh, additional epidemic and oh card this is great
board whether it was fixed at 2:30 otherwise some matters are coming up at 2:30 without us fixing time it was heard okay so let it come up without so saying that you can make it may request on day after tomorrow Um, 